In today's video, I'm going to try and survive 100 days stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean. In this ocean, we have to fish for our supplies and avoid the shark infested water. And Larry the Lobster for some reason. Yeah, believe it or not, even these are dangerous. So with that, pause. Okay, real quick, let me just warn you. I am not some master Minecraft player who's going to build Atlantis in its entirety while fighting off waves of withers, all right? I'll admit that does sound pretty cool. I want to transition more back to when I first started my YouTube journey and just document me enjoying the 100 days without trying to complete goals specifically for content. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to adventure, fight, and build some cool stuff just like any other Minecraft world. But if you're looking for crazy editing and dramatic screen, this isn't gonna be the right video for you and that's totally okay it's still high quality just more laid back so with all that being said let's get right into it all right so here we are on day one and well we're on a raft in the middle of the ocean I mean there's not really much else to do but start fishing I guess I should probably check for some sharks nearby and it looks like we're actually clear so that's good Ooh, we got a barrel I wonder what I don't even know what comes in these all right so we got some potatoes cold dirt uh, okay, so the loot's not bad. I mean, I like the coal, I like the potatoes, we had a little bit of food, but I'd really like a sapling soon so we could expand a little bit quicker, because getting these planks one by one is uh, not the most ideal of things. Well, since there's no sharks, I might as well just swim around and grab everything, because I'm not the best with the fishing pole yet, but I mean, we got nothing but time to get better. All right, that's not ideal. These are not the neighbors I want. Uh, if you need to know how bad of neighbor sharks are, here's what happened on my first playthrough with this. Ah, uh, no. No, please. No, no, no. So yeah, uh, we're gonna have to be a little more careful now. At least, you know, look around before we jump in the water. Okay, we're making a dash for a barrel here. Hopefully we don't die. All right, back safe with the barrel. I'm actually gonna use them to kind of expand here. And we got some more food, but still no saplings. I need some saplings. This is definitely the move though. We're gonna use the barrels to kind of slowly expand our platform until we get some more wood. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Jellyfish. Oh, there's a shark. Okay, we got a, well, Kind of just sitting there. I wonder, you know, I'm kind of scared. Can these jump up on my raft? A little hammerhead there. I'm, I don't, I'm assuming there's great whites, which is obviously what I'm most scared of, but. All right, guys, there's a barrel out there, but I cannot reach it with this fishing rod. And I think we're just going to have to send it. I mean, these are just too valuable right now to me that I, yeah, we're just, we're going to send it. Okay, we got the barrel. I'm, I'm getting greedy here. I'm going to try and get this too. Okay, we're back on the raft. Put the barrel down and... Okay, we actually got a sapling this time. It's it's a birch sapling, which is probably my least favorite tree, but it's something. I'll take it. Okay. At this point, I really just needed more materials, so I sat on my raft and started working on my fishing skills for a while. Okay, so we got ourselves another barrel here, and geez, you get a ton of coal from these. We also did get a dark oak sapling, but we're going to need three more of these before we can use it. So it's really not all that helpful. Now we do have a decent amount of leaves here, so I'm going to try breaking them and maybe we get lucky and get a sapling. Okay, we got an apple. That's not quite what I wanted. Okay, now we got a stick this time. Well, we unfortunately didn't get a sapling, but I see another leaf block here. So I'm going to pick it up and maybe this is the one. Well, it was worth a shot. Okay, it's starting to get really dark, so I'm going to make a torch here. Now, I don't think a mob could spawn on this because I'm too close, but just for lighting's sake. Actually, since it's night, I do want to make a bed, so let's make this wool and then put that down. And we got ourselves a bed. All right. Oh, I didn't plant the sapling. That's kind of awkward. I should have planned that a while ago, but... Alrighty, so day one, not too bad. We got ourselves a sapling at least, so that's good. Got a little bit of food, which is renewable if I plant it, and then we got a bed now. Our raft is tiny, just like something else I own, but it's going to get bigger right and it's yeah it's, it's we're gonna be good so i think my goal for these first couple of days is to basically just fish up all the loot that floats by and hopefully get a bunch of barrels in the process the main thing we want from these barrels is going to be saplings so we can start planting a bunch of trees and expanding our raft give me this oh tree grew okay that's good let me just all right hopefully we get a sapling back otherwise we're gonna be in a bad spot here uh-oh Come on, just give me one, please. Okay, okay, I was getting a little nervous there, but we got the sapling, so everything is all good. I honestly, I'd love to get a second one, but I'll take the one. Oh wait, we do have two, how do I, okay. I didn't know we had two, that's awesome. I will say the nice thing about getting these barrels is the fact that you get free storage, especially since wood is a little bit scarce right now. So, I mean, these barrels are clutch. It's storage, it's expansion of the raft, and it saves wood. Oh great, another shark, that's awesome. Let's, 
I mean, he's pretty far, so we should be safe, but it's still a little sketch. I'm not going to lie. And okay, this one's a little bit closer. I'm getting a little bit scared. Okay, I'm swimming out for another barrel here. Uh, I, it was out of range again. I don't know. I got to risk it for the barrels. I mean, it's just worth it to me. Hopefully, if a shark does chase me, I can outswim it. Okay, inside the barrel. All right, some more food, some more coal, and most importantly, a jungle sapling, which I think is going to be the best sapling because... I mean, those trees are huge, and if we can get four, we're going to be cooking on wood, so that'll be great. Okay, let's add a little dirt spot here for our new jungle tree. That's going to be nice. Got another barrel here. One of these times, I'm going to get eaten by a shark. I just, I just know it. It's not going to be a good time. All right, another... Ooh, spruce! Okay, I love spruce. That's good. Actually, three saplings. Okay, this, this barrel was a cook. Got spruce. We got jungle. Fuck the jungle, though. I'm going to put the spruce one here for now. And there's another barrel. Okay. Pick this up. Come up. Oh, 0 for 2. 0 for 3. 1 for 4. Not bad. I'm getting better. Unfortunately, that's me getting better. This one. Okay. Coal. Iron nuggets. We're actually getting a decent amount of those, uh, which is good. That means we're going to get free iron gear. Got some saplings now. We're starting. We're getting a little momentum here. Okay, that was, I mean, if we got an oak sapling there, that would have been crazy, but I'll take the stick. That's fine. All right, last thing I'm doing today is just going to be making another spot for another sapling. Now, I'm not actually not doing the jungle one because I don't want to plant and then not get one back. Okay, third day on the raft and they we're starting out strong. We've got a barrel here. I'm just jumping right in. I, I, you know what? I got some nuts on me right now. I don't care about those sharks. I'm waking up. I'm feeling like a menace today. Let's go ahead, slap this down. What do we got? Okay, another jungle sapling. We need one more. And we can make a jumbo tree and that's gonna be awesome what in the world are you i don't know if i should call you like an oreo dolphin or like a michael jackson dolphin but you're interesting i've never seen anything like this but that's that's pretty cool i'll be honest when i'm swimming around like this just zigzagging on these items it kind of feels like i'm playing snake okay folks we got five more chances at a sapling here will we get it okay that <laughs> that was quick if you guessed yes you were wrong Alrighty, we got another barrel here. Let's go ahead and place it down. Oh, okay, it's sideways. That's fine, though. Okay, cool. We got actually some more saplings, so that's awesome. I think we have four dark oaks. We might have four jungles, but that's great. I know we have the dark oaks, so I'm probably going to plant those next. Alrighty, we're going to make a little two-by-two two here and plant the dark oak saplings. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to pop down a oak sapling here, and now we got most of the trees cooking. I could plant the jungle wood, but now I'm kind of having second thoughts on whether or not I want to make the whole raft out of jungle wood, so we're going to wait for now. And the rest of day three was basically me just collecting resources while waiting for a tree to grow, which never happened, unfortunately. I'll take this. Thank you. Uh, I know I need wood, but I'm actually gonna put the barrel here just to, you know, symmetry sake. Not bad loot. Um, I mean, honestly, these barrels aren't quite as important anymore just because we have all of our saplings. So unless I get anything crazy out of them, which I don't even know if that's possible, but I'll probably won't show them as often. I'll still show some, but don't expect to see them all. Oh, hey there, pal. Let me just go ahead and make one of these and take you down, Mr. Oak Tree. Oh, wow, man, four days alone at sea and I'm already talking to trees, but whew. if they start talking back, I'm going to have to check the mod list and make sure I'm not playing some like Vietnam mod because that, uh, that should not be happening. OK, I'm starting to feel a little bit cramped here, so I'm going to start expanding out with these jungle slabs. I know I just said I didn't want to use jungle wood, but now I, I don't know. I feel like I should because it's like the most abundant thing. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry here, so let's go ahead and make a furnace so we can cook up some of our food. I think I'm going to put it in the middle of the raft here. And oh, these are actually full-on planks, so if we pick all these up, we can make some extra slabs. So that's actually nice. I just realized I never actually put the fish in the furnace, so let's go ahead and do that. Munch, 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 munch. Okay, spruce tree did grow, so let's chop that down. The only thing that sucks is that everything kind of falls in the water, so I gotta go deep diving for it, so. I'm a little worried I'm gonna lose some of the wood, and I actually don't think we got a sapling? That sucks. That's fine, though. I mean, you know, we can live without spruce, but that's not ideal. All right, with these last couple slabs here, we've completed our basic circle. Let's punch this dirt out. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot a section. So we, we got one more section, then we're done. And we actually don't even have the jungle wood to finish it. So hopefully that will grow soon because I'd love to finish the circle. Oh, 
Spruce tree. Okay, not the right tree, but at least we get some wood here. Oh, and this one dropped plenty of saplings. Awesome. Oh, ain't it auto planted? Okay, that's cool. Okay, just kind of waiting here. Whoa! What? A little flying fish. That was cool. What's up, buddy? Oh, the jumbo tree is finally grown. Smack this with the axe, and we're going to be able to finish the circle. This is huge. Man, it's raining more wood than a Mormon's bedroom fresh after getting married right now. This is nice. In other news, though, our dark oak tree also grew, so let's chop this thick boy down. And in even better news, I just realized I got a banana. I, you know, I don't know why this is awesome to me, but it's it just looks awesome. I don't know. Alrighty, now with that slab, the outline is officially done for real this time. So that's good. We got the outline. Now we're just going to have to fill it in tomorrow. And uh, I don't know, we're starting to make a little progress here. I, I think it's uh, it's going good. I think it's going to speed up a lot too once I have a more like consistent source of resources. Because right now I kind of got to wait for the trees to grow. But um, eventually I think we'll be able to get cooking a lot quicker. Okay, so kind of like I was just saying, plan right now is to just keep on fishing until we get these trees to grow. Because I can't really do anything without the wood to build. So. Oh, yeah another jungle just grew and this thing is huge oh my god it's like a skyscraper this is ridiculous thankfully tree feller makes this a lot easier but i think when this breaks the sound is gonna be like oh it's gonna be nice hold on oh oh yeah that was nice okay that, that was awesome i don't know that sound the sound of me catching it plus it going in the water oh that's that is like music to my ears okay let's plant this last sapling i don't know why the auto plant only did three but that's fine oh got another tree this is actually a tall spruce one look at that man a big old white one you don't see that very often those jungles and the dark oaks those and the spruce too i mean those those tend to be big i mean those are the biggest trees in minecraft but the birch you know it's uh it's not big that's all right though it's got personality it's got it's got fight people we are swimming in wood right now i mean oh man this is nice look at that got the dark oak here got another jungle here and Oh man, oh this is, this has been a weird day, it's felt really, uh, this is a certain weird vibe going on, I gotta get away from this, this this is not the direction I want the video to go in, but we're getting wood and I'm happy. Okay, pod, that sounds not like that. Alright, we're gonna chill out with the commentary here, right now I'm just placing some flooring in. Okay, as you can see, we're going with the dark oak. I think it's going to contrast nicely. No more suspect wood talk. It's getting ridiculous. Okay, I, I apologize. I will say I'm finally getting a lot more accurate with the fishing rod. So, okay, I just missed one. But the progress is definitely there. Okay, I'm feeling a little more confident now. Ooh, barrel. Wait, since these stacked, is it going to mess up the loot? Since I've tuned my inventory? I guess we'll find out. Okay, this one worked. Maybe they'll have the same loot now. I don't I wonder if it like duplicated or not No, okay. No, it has different loot. That's weird. So it's like a I wonder if there's a way I could like abuse that to have like fake shulker boxes or I don't know That's kind of funky, but that's cool. I guess. Oh this time the jungle's a little shorty thick boy All right, not not as tall as the other ones Okay, so it's a lot nicer having the wood platform under it because like I catch all the wood now, but Kind of sad we don't get the splashing in the water sound that kind of sucks Alrighty, well for efficiency's sake i am going to finish the flooring because it's kind of important we catch all the wood even though the sounds really nice oh look at that the acacia just grew what that reminds me of it's kind of like when you're out driving or walking or whatever you're just outside and the street lights just turn on right in front of you like it, it, i don't know i've always thought it's like kind of weird when you see that and that's what that feels like to me okay i'm gonna swap out the acacia for oak because I, I really don't care about acacia wood holy that's gotta be one of the biggest spruce trees i've ever seen imagine having that in your now no i said i'm done i'm done okay i'm just gonna cut the tree we do get to hear the nice sound this time all right, last thing I'm doing today is smelting some iron. The rest of the time that you missed, or I guess that I'm probably not going to show, was just me cutting more trees and fishing. I figure I might as well just cut that out so it doesn't get too redundant for you guys because I'm pretty sure this one's going to be extra long. Uh, and I can't escape these innuendos, but actually it's going to be extra long because I'm doing live commentary. So, yeah. Anyways, and if you like the live commentary, let me know. Or if you like the, the post voiceover that I normally do, let me know. Uh, I, I can do both. I like them both. 
Okay, I think I want to start expanding our raft here. So I got to figure out a little bridge design to connect each section. Debating between spruce and jungle right now. So let's put them both down. Okay, jo God, jungle's ugly plane. Let's try stripping it. Yeah, okay, we're definitely going to go with spruce. I, I just, I mean, I love spruce, so I'm not surprised I'm picking it. But I thought maybe we'd go jungle, but this just doesn't look. I'm not rocking with that. All right, for stairs, we could try spruce here, but I think that almost matches too much. I, I kind of want some more contrast, so I don't know. Maybe we'll try something lighter, like a, like a birch or something. Okay, yeah, I think that's already much better. So we'll do birch for like the main like flooring of the bridge. Add some slabs. I actually want to raise it a little bit more. So let me take these slabs back out. And then we'll bump it up one height, I think. Just to give it a little more shape, a little more uh, interesting. Ooh, look, okay, jungle tree grew. We are gonna chop this down real quick. A little, little bridge break here. Uh, we still need just about every single wood, so anytime something grows, I'm gonna be chopping it. Ooh, there's a barrel. Let me, let me pick that up real quick. All right, what do we got? We got, okay, more coal and, uh, I mean, pretty much the same stuff. We got a carrot, though, that's good. Can use that to farm later. Okay, but back to the bridge, so... Is that high enough or do I want to go one more? I also got to make sure I don't make it absurdly long. All right, after some work in progress, I think we have a decent start, but I don't think it's perfect. I think it might almost be too short, but I'll, uh, it's nighttime now, so I guess we'll figure it out tomorrow. All right, day nine here. Uh, I am going to break this and I want to make this a little bit longer. Cause like I said yesterday, I think it's just a little too stubby. You know, we don't want a chode bridge. We want a nice, long and impressive one. That's what the ladies like. So let's just do that. All right, now we just got to pull these stairs out and we're back to where we were. It's just a little bit bigger now. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, obviously, it's not going to be the uh, finished product, but good little baseline. OK, we got another massive spruce tree here. Uh, I probably I'm going to stop highlighting these as much because you guys don't want to watch a tree cutting simulator, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, just know if a tree's grown, I'm chopping it. And uh, at this point, we have so much wood, we're actually filling up a second barrel. So that's pretty awesome. Granted, it's mainly jungle wood, which is kind of the worst wood, but it's fine. What is that? It's so dark. It, what is it? I can't, is it a, I mean, it's got the shape of the Michael Jackson dolphin, but I don't know. It's just so dark. Huh. Uh, I, I'm not going to mess with it. I don't know. I'm just going to leave. Hey, yo, what the what stupid little puffer fish just stung me ow that hurt jeez leave me alone man i was just swimming is it called a sting if it's a puffer fish what is it called is it prong pronged no nah, that can't be right i don't know the thing poked me though it hurt i don't like that all righty uh today we gotta we gotta spruce up this bridge because i you know it's just it's boring i mean let's call it what it is it's boring let's go ahead and fix this up i actually want to make it a little bit longer so we are gonna have to remake the back end of this again which is kind of annoying this is really tedious to make just because the water but it's fine let's go ahead and do that real quick Alrighty, we finally got that done and just building in the ocean man i i know i just said it two seconds ago but it is just it makes everything take so much longer oh my goodness enough complaining though it's time to start working on this bridge i'm gonna do like a little arch type thing so we're gonna have to build up a little bit here and then let's start throwing some stairs down Okay, we finished all our stairs up top. I kind of want it to be like an open wall design so we can still see the ocean. Now it won't protect us from falling in the shark infested water, but you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. Might have just jinxed us, but you know, again, you know, we're, we're fine, I hope. All right, and with this, oh, actually I gotta replace this last slab here. All right, now we got the really super basic design. This is kind of what I want. And then we're gonna use like slabs, leaves, and all that good stuff. Or not slabs, trap doors. And here's the very beginning of our detailing. Uh, just a couple trap doors. But we're kind of running out of time today, so that's all we're gonna have time for. But tomorrow, more detailing on the way. All right, this looks pretty decent. I think if we get some leaf blocks, we can really start to bring this together. Let's just go ahead and try putting this here. Okay, I think that with some like buttons or something just to kind of fill in an empty space. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, I'm going with some birch buttons here. Okay, boop boop, and then last leaf. And yeah, okay, I like that. I mean, we're gonna detail the top more, you know, with some lighting and a little like open roof type thing, but I think that's good. I like that. And now it's time to just duplicate the other side. Last two pieces, and there we go. Okay. 
It's actually not too bad to duplicate. Oh, I did forget to take this trap door down. Let me just fix that real quick and not bad. Okay, time to move on to the roof. Okay, so for the roof, again, like I said earlier, it's going to be kind of an open top design. So I'm just basically going to make a little rectangle here and then probably just put some glass in the middle. Nothing too crazy, but I think it just adds a little more pizzazz to the build. A little, little snazziness. Okay, I'm going to need to grab some sand for glass. So let's make a door and head down there. I, I, you know, I don't get the math on this or the science or the English or the history or anything really, but somehow a door gives you a pocket of air. So, uh, I mean, I don't know why those guys on the Titanic exploration just didn't drop a door down. I mean, that seems kind of obvious to me, but I guess they didn't play Minecraft. And that's fine, man. In other news, though, we do have another chonky tree to chop. So, chop. I meant chop. So, let's do that. Can't speak English today. It's all right, though. I'm here. Okay, we got the glass now, so let's make this little square. And then right here, I think I'm just going to put some wood and then we can hang some lanterns from it or something. And uh, my voice sounds a little different this day. My nose is kind of stuffy for some reason, so I apologize. But it'll get better throughout the, throughout the playthrough, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, right now I'm making some lanterns and I think we're gonna actually gonna need quite a few for each bridge. So I'm thinking I put them on these pillars here and then do I want two up top? I mean, I could go one, but then it's not gonna look even. And that's gonna bother me. So we'll probably go two and then I just need to get, uh, make one more. All right, taking a gander. Now I did take out the middle ones to see how it looked and I I'm kind of torn in front of the middle ones. I think it looks good, but I'm just debating on whether or not we should add the two in the middle. Okay, I just made another lantern and I think I am gonna do the two in the middle. Yeah, I like that. I it just adds, I don't know, the, the center of it looked kind of empty. So I think that's good. It's a little redundant in terms of lighting, but I think it looks nice. And the rest of the day was really just chopping more wood, collecting from the ocean, and lastly, organizing the barrels, which is probably the best thing I did all day because I know unorganized loot is like the worst thing on the planet so yeah on to day 12. okay so we have a pretty nice bridge but now my center island is just, well center raft it's not an island it's a raft but it's naked and we need to give it some quote unquote clothing so my current goal is to create some walling to just give it a little more pizzazz and keep out any uh unwelcome visitors you know I don't know if a shark will hop up here and eat me so step one though I am just going to be putting in a bunch of these pillars kind of outlining uh, where the walls are gonna be and then uh, yeah, I'll update you on the next part. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot more oak wood So I'm actually making a little like I don't know like I you call it a tree farm It's just I just built some dirt out with some saplings on it. Basically uh, nothing too crazy I just okay next step is to put in the walls here now. I'm going with oak I think it'll contrast nicely with the dark spruce and then also the dark oak and then it also it's kind of like a complementary color to the jungle wood. I didn't think I'd be getting this in depth, but it's just, I don't know, my brain's flowing, man. I'm feeling artistic. Okay, artistic, not, anyways. Okay, we got the basic walls in. Now the next step, or I guess the third step, I'm gonna be putting in a stair outline on the outside, give it a little shape. I went with jungle wood. Again, I feel like it just goes well with the oak. And then we also have a bunch of jungle wood. So I figure, hey, Stairs are kind of expensive, so this is going to be a good pick. Now, right now, I'm just focusing on this first wall, and then once I have that, uh, basically, I'm just going to break down this one for you, and then once this one's in, I'll probably show just a quick cut of me making the other ones. That being said, though, now I'm outlining the top here. Again, I think stairs, I don't know. I don't, you know, this isn't going to be like a building tips video, but in this kind of format, I can actually talk about why I do stuff. And I think stairs like this just gives it a little more depth and, like, shape. I, you know, I don't think I'm the best builder, but I think I'm decent. And then in this little middle section, I'm gonna throw in some more stairs. This time I'm running with spruce though. Uh, only reason I'm doing this, I'm gonna leave the uh, flatter portions actually untouched because I'll probably put like little port windows or something, but I just don't wanna leave this empty. I feel like that'll look kind of bland. So I figure this is something. All right, let me just go back. Oh, hey, God, these, dude, these pufferfish, stop. Oh my goodness. So almost died to a puffer fish. Go away. I, look at that guy. He's so cute too. And he's not all puffed up. But wow. Okay, I'm back after that puffer fish disaster. Now we're putting in the port window. And nothing crazy. It's literally, it's going to be a hole with some trap doors around it. And I, I think it's all it needs. I think it looks pretty good. Alrighty, last thing we need for these port windows is some glass, of course. Now I'm running glass panes. And don't worry, I will make it like accessible and not three blocks high. So... I'm gonna make a boat real quick though and let's go out and see what this looks like from a distance because I'm kind of curious. This one, I did not test this one in a creative world. So let's see, let's see what I cooked up. All right, yeah, I think that's, you know what? I like it. I think once we hang some more lanterns on there too, the that middle portion won't look so dark. 
Okay, I'm back with the lantern. We're gonna put that right there. I already love that. Just sitting right here. So let's hop back in the boat. Check it out from a distance, people. Yeah. I actually really, I really like that. Okay, cool. I mean, that looks sweet. Okay, and like I said before, I mean, that's basically the design. So now we just get to replicate it. So enjoy a nice little sped up compilation. Okay, now that the center part of the raft is done and we aren't as in dire need of oak wood, I think it's time to take out this little island farm thing because it's really annoying to cut trees on and I can't even plant big trees. So I think our next addition to our raft is going to be a tree farming island. Step one of the new part of the raft is, of course, making a circle. Okay, the circle is done, so now we just gotta get this dirt back. Oh man, I'm getting lucky. I'm just catching all these. I'm, you know, I was kind of worried I was gonna have to keep jumping in the water. So that's kind of a little small dub there. Let's go ahead and make a chisel here. Now this is one mod I did add myself. So if you download the mod pack, you're gonna have to add this one yourself. I just like it because it makes flooring a lot easier. It just gives you a lot more options. And I think with this one, we're gonna go with a combination of smooth and then these stacked planks and I think this could look pretty good really don't have much of a plan for how this flooring is actually gonna like look with these blocks but you know we'll just freehand it and uh, we'll figure it out you know we're smart people all right I made this runway thing I, I don't know I, I kind of like it though maybe maybe we should make a big cross or like a big plus sign I guess yeah why not let's just try that Whoa, what is going on here oh it's, it's Larry the lobster he's chasing an octopus Run, no! Larry, leave him alone. Larry, no! Squidward! Oh, well, I mean, that's, you know, that's the circle of life. I mean, that's some Nat Geographic stuff right there, so. Oh, that's tough, tough to watch. Rip Squidward and, uh, oh, I mean, I didn't think Larry the Lobster was a killer, but I, I just got my answer. Okay, so I'm kind of deviating from that plain big old fat plus, and we're gonna make like a little chain link design here with the other stacked wood i don't know this could be a fail and that's gonna suck if i don't like this because you know wood's not the it's not the quickest thing to to break down so hopefully this turns out good okay looking at this right now i'm a little bit worried that it's not gonna look great but i'm already this deep so i might as well finish it i kind of mentioned this yesterday but i'm kind of just throwing at the wall and hoping something sticks I mean, like right now, I don't, I'm just doing some zigzag type of shit. I don't know, man. We'll see. I'll, I'll update you guys once it's done. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is something, huh? I mean, this, this is probably uglier than when I opened my, you know, front camera on my phone on accident. This is bad. It's just, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this. This is just, this is an atrocity. This is, should be a crime against humanity. This needs to go. Let's go ahead. Let's just simplify it. We don't have to get rid of the whole thing. Let's get rid of all these little random blocks I added for some reason okay I took out all those extra blocks and I think it's better I don't think it's the best flooring I've ever designed but I'm gonna run with it right now and now it's time to put in our tree planters or boxes I don't what do you what do you call you know you put up I mean you really don't do it with trees you normally do it with like crops or flowers but like a little planters box for the tree basically that's what we're adding I think it's just like a nice little touch to make you know tree farms like nicer it's not the most efficient because it takes up a lot more space but oh i guess you gotta space the trees out anyway so maybe it doesn't matter i don't know anyways though we'll be back on this on day 17. okay now i'm getting a little bougie with it i'm adding some leaves and hedges to like i don't know just give it a little more oomph maybe should i try a grass block up top on these no, no, that's that's not working for me. I, I don't like that. I'd also probably interfere with the growing of the tree. I don't think just one hedge on these. I think this is what I'm gonna run, and I don't think it should interfere with the tree growing. Cause I'm gonna have the dirt flush with the stairs, so it'll be one block higher. I think it should be fine. It's been decided. This is the design. Now we just gotta put the dirt in, and then of course plant all the saplings. But yeah, so I got jungle, spruce, dark oak, and oak planted. I don't think I'm going to need birch anymore. I think that's done already unless I make more bridges, which I, I mean, I'm sure I will, but I'm not going to devote a whole spot to the farm to that. And then 
I'm not touching acacia. If you like acacia wood, uh, we gotta have a talk because that is not okay. But with all the trees planted, now we just gotta add a little wall, I think. it's This one's not gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna probably do a lot of logs. I think if I do like a, kind of like a zigzag in terms of height for logs around it, I think that looks pretty nice. I've done that before for like cow pens and stuff. So I think we're gonna run that. Okay, maybe we should try raising. What? What is that sound? What is that? Oh, it's Larry the Lobster. What's up, bro? How about you go hit legs at the gym for once, pal? I mean, what are you doing? Also, I mean, maybe don't kill squids, too. That's kind of messed up. Uh, I don't think I like the raised walls. Maybe we're gonna... <laughs> yeah, definitely not. I mean, it kind of looks like a W for waffles, but that's that's not looking good. Let's go ahead. We'll drop that back down. The last thing I want for this island is like a little water fountain. So let's go ahead. I mean, just do a little trier one here. All right, and then we're gonna take our cobble slabs and then make a little like circle around it. Definitely not gonna stick with the cobblestone here. We're probably gonna switch to like a smooth stone, but for now it should be good enough. First thing we gotta do today is smelt this stone so we can fix that fountain. I think the smooth stone with it is gonna look really nice. Oh yeah, this looks way better. As you can see there, I tested the hedges and that just looked funky, but yeah, this looks already infinitely better. Oh my gosh, that smooth stone looks just, oh, it's chef's kiss, it's so pure. Alrighty, now we just add the smooth stone in the middle. I kind of like the way the, the one block looked, but I think we're gonna do all three. I don't, that doesn't really make sense, but I like the little one height block. I, I almost want to stick with that, but I think I'm gonna stick to three. That looked oddly good though, I don't know why. Oh, I guess now since we got the, the tree farm, we don't really need all this dirt in the middle of our raft. Oh, I forgot to break down my ratchet tree farm. Let me do that real quick. Next on the docket is making these portholes usable. And honestly, I think we should just stick with the stair outline. I think if we use birch, we can kind of connect it to the bridges as well. And it's going to look really good. Okay, we got it on the bottom complete. Now we just got to do the top. I probably won't have time to finish it today, so we'll have to finish it on day 19. And with that, we got all the stairs up top, so we're looking pretty good. Now what I want to do is just add the trap doors to the inside because the portholes themselves look a little bit naked right now. Not going to do anything too crazy. I'm literally just going to put it right in front of the window. That way we can open and close it. Got a little barrel here. And you know what? Wow, we almost have a full, like, encased box of barrels with the flooring and, like, a perimeter. That's kind of crazy. I think it's time to make a mine, which seems kind of weird because we're in the middle of an ocean. But I think we're just going to make a big wooden tube down from the middle of the raft down to the ocean floor. And then we can make a mine down to diamond level. So this is probably going to take a while, but I think that's the new game plan. Okay, so step one, we're going to have to build down to the ocean floor, which is... A little bit scary because there are sharks in these waters and Larry the Lobster kind of scares me too. I mean, he just went and murked a squid for no reason. But yeah, time to build a big wooden tube. That's probably going to look like, uh, well, you know what, never mind. Luckily, we're not too far from the ocean floor. So, you know, making this wood tube shouldn't take too long, but mining all the way down to diamond level is probably going to take forever. All right, home stretch of the tube here. Come on, here we go. Oh, I'm doing this really sloppy, but it's fine. Let's break this real quick. There we go. Break this. Ow. Ow. Okay. Uh, you need air to breathe. That's that's a good point, game. My bad. Well, time to start filling in the dirt. I guess we'll start... For now, we'll just do a quick little short level so we get some more breathing room. And then... I guess I'll probably do bigger chunks later. I, I'll be honest, I'm not excited to do this. This is... Emptying water like this is one of my least favorite things ever. But here we go. Okay, we're actually getting really close here. That's pretty encouraging. Let's just finish filling up this hole. I could realistically just go with a ladder, you know, from top to bottom, but I want to do a spiral staircase. Sure, it's like 10 times the work, but I'm not rich enough for one in real life, so I might as well make one in Minecraft. So, you know, it's a little copage. All right, we got the basic shape. Now we just got to go ahead and repeat this about a million times. Okay, we already made it to the bottom. That was actually not that bad. Oh, but now the issue is that we, uh, should be about 36 blocks lower than we are now so we're not as close as i thought we got a lot of mining and then we gotta you know redo the staircase all the way down well people strap in because we have a lot of mining to do today 
Oh, okay. Full day's worth of mining here, but we're actually... We're done. Let's just water bucket our way back to the top, and then we can start the staircase. Time for the staircase again. And we're finally done. Okay. Day 22, we finished the stair... Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. I forgot. I, like, sectioned it out differently. I did it weird, and now... Oh, no. I thought that was too quick. We're not even close, man. Fuck. Oh, well, it's time to run that back again. A little compilation, man. I, you know, I thought that was way too fast, and it makes sense why. We're, we weren't even close. Okay, we are finally deep enough, right? I'm I'm finally deep enough. That's, I've never been able to say that out loud. That feels good. It makes you feel powerful, you know? I just can't... Huh, I don't got the equipment. Anyways, that's besides the point. The next step here is we got to mine out a sort of hub so we can, you know, have a spot to make our strip mines at. Oh, whoa. Okay. I mean, I, I'll take a diamond. That's a good start. Let's see, is there more than one, though? Is anyone else like mining around it? I think it's kind of fun to mine around and see if there's more. Oh, we got another one. Oh, I gotta mine all this coal though. Once I start, I'm not stopping until the vein's gone. Okay, this is just the biggest vein of coal ever. Oh, whoa. Okay, we got at least three diamonds. That's pretty sweet. Okay, there's one, two, three. Okay, I'll take three. I mean, it's a pick if I want it, so that's pretty good. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of lava. Oh, well, here's a little lava, lava pool, so there we go. A little bit of iron here. Oh! Some more diamonds, okay. There's at least one more diamond, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this iron real quick. Oh, actually, we're gonna need this lapis too to enchant, so let's pick this up. Now we can make our way over to that diamond. Hopefully there's more than one. Oh, we get two diamonds, okay, I'll take that. I gotta say, the way the ore looks with the shaders, how it makes it glow, and then the outline with the resource pack I have, it's just gorgeous. Like, it tickles my brain in a way I can't even explain. I mean, look at this. It just looks so crispy and delicious. Okay, I think the plan today is to just keep on mining. I am going to let this iron cook so I can make some fresh tools and iron armor. Oh, yeah, we're looking real snazzy now. Suit up, people. Here we go. All right, so after finding those diamonds yesterday, I kind of just tunneled off in that direction. But now I actually want to make that hub area. Oh, this takes a long time, man. We're almost kind of done. Okay, last thing today, I'm just going to put a bed down in the mine so while I'm mining I can sleep quicker. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I added that, so that's going to be nice, just getting down here a little quicker. Okay, plan today is to actually start strip mining so we can get some delectable diamonds. You see that? That right there is called alliteration, motherfucker. If anyone ever tells you that watching Minecraft on YouTube is a waste of time, show them that clip and explain that it's actually really educational. You know, I mean, I'm teaching... I'm teaching alliteration. And you know, maybe when you show them that educational clip, take out the moth part, cause that, you know, is that can help your case too much, but yeah, educational, here we go. Now my strat for strip mining is mining three straight, then poking holes to my left and right. So it basically just creates a two block gap between each set of holes. Now think of it as like the gooch of strip mining. I, I can't believe I said that out loud. I, I don't, look, this is the problem when I'm not doing a voiceover, I become just unhinged. So this is what you get. You know, this is what you get with live commentary. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, and in good news, our shovel broke. So now we're stuck punching dirt and I refuse to run to the top of the raft. So we're going to stick to that for now. Now, I did come back and grab this for convenience sake. And I don't know, maybe I should have just ran all the way back up. But uh, no shovel for now. Okay, we find ourselves in a little ravine here. Oh, go away. <laughs> Loser, didn't even get to blow anything up. Ah, go away. No. Yeah, burn. Spooky spider, leave me alone. There's really just a lot of iron in this ravine, but I guess I'll take it. Oh, whoa. Okay, they're over there. That was, that kind of spooked me a little bit, I'll be honest. I'll tell you what though, man, shaders makes caves just pitch black. It's honestly terrifying. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. No, leave me alone, please. Oh, okay, okay. I love shields. That was, <laughs> I wasn't even scared. I don't know what you're talking about. Ow. Can we not do- Ow. Can you stop shooting me? Yeah, there you go. Leave me alone. Ow. Get- Oh my, what is going on? Oh no, it's, we're getting hectic. I don't like this. I'm gonna go home. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Okay. 
I think I'm done with this ravine. I don't think the risk is worth it anymore. We just got double sniped by skeletons. I'm surprised we didn't end up in lava there, but it's just get you get out of here. Get, go away. I'm gonna I'm about to John Cena this guy. Hold on. Yeah, sit down. Go away. I mean, at this point, it's just not worth it. We're risking our lives with literally just for iron. So I think it's time to shut down this ravine and keep going forward. Ooh, gold. Nice. Oh, and our pick's broken. Can we... Okay, I'll make a crafting table and then a furnace. And then I can smelt some of this iron so we don't have to go all the way back. That's actually really convenient. That would have sucked having to run... I mean, I guess we're not like that far, but it's still kind of far. All right, do we get a fresh iron pick so we can get this gold now? Honestly, gold's not like that important unless, well, I mean, I guess I could go trade in the nether, but I wish there was like, I don't know, maybe like jewelry or something that gave stats or I, I'd be more like fantasy based, but I just feel like gold could use some more uses. I mean, yeah, I guess you can make garbage armor and tools that at least the tools mine fast, but it's just not that important. I feel like maybe I'm wrong though. I, I maybe I feel like I'm forgetting something that like gold is like really important for. I know it's just like powered railroads but that's all i can think of i don't know maybe i'm dumb and like clocks no one cares about clocks though i don't know you tell me what's gold what am i missing i miss i gotta be missing something because it can't it's not that useless oh we've run into some water here people oh whoa it's an underwater ravine this looks sick i love the addition of magma blocks too letting you breathe and stuff that's actually so cool and it looks really cool underwater this is pretty sweet but i'm not seeing any diamonds which is unfortunate all right now i'm assuming we're probably gonna run into that same ravine going forward but i guess we'll see and that was short-lived yeah okay so this is uh this strip mine is gonna be retired with a grand total of zero diamonds so that's good found more diamonds just starting to make the hub than we did on the whole strip mine that's kind of funny and two ravines too what are the odds of that all right well i'm back at the hub and now it's time to start the next strip mine Oh, hey, finally found diamonds. I'm just going to mine these ones straight up. Okay, there's two, three, four, five. Oh, six. Okay, six is, I'll take six. Okay, so our iron pick is about to break. So let's make a furnace to start cooking some of this raw iron so we can keep on going. I'm so much more motivated now that we finally found some diamonds. Like, they're real. Okay, we got something here. Uh, oh, this might be a ravine. Oh, wait, it's, duh, it's obviously, it's the same ravine I was just in. Mine the same way, you're gonna get the same stuff, duh. I'm still gonna keep going this way until we hit that underwater one, just because, you know, there, there could be diamonds this way. I don't think I'll do a third in this direction, but I will at least finish this one out. Hopefully, we can find some more diamonds before we hit that underwater ravine. Let's see. Yeah, nope, no diamonds. Okay, well, I guess we can go back and start the third tunnel. Okay, tunnel number three. Let's see. The first one we got zero. Second tunnel we got six. So for tunnel three, I'd love to see like ten would be awesome. Also, like I said before, we are heading in a different direction, so we won't hit that same underwater ravine. So hopefully this one can go a little bit longer. Having this crafting table and coal on me has actually been so clutch. I've used it. This is the third time I just used it. Oh, got a little lava here. Oh, and a diamond. Nice. Okay. I got a bad feeling this is going to be a one vayner for some reason. Let me check. Is there anything else? No, it doesn't look like... Oh! Okay, two, three. See if there's a hit. Oh, I hit him one, four. Five. Oh my, it just keeps getting better. No lava. Okay, good. That was kind of risky, but it worked out. All right, five diamonds. That's, that's not a bad start. I mean, with that, we're halfway to our goal already. That's awesome. Well, our goal for this tunnel, I think total what we have 11. We got ourselves a little mine shaft here. Okay, let's look. Oh, diamonds. Or a diamond, I should say. Okay, one. You got maybe a little hidden one somewhere. I knew it. There's two. Oh, got some butter here too. I think I've asked this before, like two videos ago, but do, is anyone still call gold butter? Or did I just like date myself as like a really... Really old Minecraft player. Okay, we do got some more diamonds here. I like the look at that. I don't like the look at that creeper there, though. Let's maybe get out of here. Build up here. Please don't blow me up. Okay. Oh. All right, we got the creeper right here. Let's just go ahead and smack him upside the face a little bit. Okay, now I got a zombie here. Okay, we're back at the diamonds here. Let's see how many we got. We got four. That's, you know what? I'll take that. That's pretty darn good. Oh, we do got some zombie friends here. 
Uh, my axe is broken. I'm kind of stuck using a pickaxe. And man, he's not getting knocked back a whole lot. Can you back up? Uh oh. Guys, we're kind of running out of space here. Just gonna. Yep. Just gonna squeeze. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Squeeze by you guys. Yeah, you're lit on fire. Yeah, uh, we got a third guy now. I'm getting. This is getting a little tight. Okay, there's one down. Two down. Oh, I think that lava was clutch. Oh, and he got caught in the cobweb. Okay, that was. I mean, that was really lucky, but we made it out safe, and that's all that matters. Uh, you know, I'm calling that pure skill. Oh, another zombie. Stop. Leave me alone. No. Back up. Go away. Fuck off. Shoot. I'm out, I'm out of words to say. I'm just going to smack you now. Go away. God, I mean, pickaxes suck for this. Ooh, minecart. Nice. Uh, loot, not as nice. We had a name tag, I guess, but thinking back to that whole zombie situation there, squeezing by him, that's literally me at any packed, like, club or bar I've ever been to. Like, let me, I'll, I'll make a nice illustration for you to understand this, right? So there's my target area. Here I am, and look, this is what happens. So here's a little role play. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep, slide through. Yep, excuse me. Just, yep, thank you. Like that. And like, you see how it, that's not just me being a bad like artist. Like I actually have my hands up on like a field goal post because I don't want to, you know, have my hands bumping anyone anywhere. They don't want to be bumped. You know what I'm saying? So that's the play I'm telling you. Is this a different mine shaft? Oh, diamonds. Nice. Okay. Let me just light this up real quick. All right. Well, it must be a little different. Oh, we got two at least. Okay. Now we got three, four, five. Oh, we're cooking six okay let's go okay do want to get this lapis here but this lava is making it a little more sketch i'll be honest Wait, oh what ow ow okay whoa 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 that was not cool okay let's just mine this and the only two okay now we're starting to run into some water so this tunnel might be done soon i'm gonna keep going until we're really oh Oh, this might have been it, so let's see. Okay, well, there's a diamond, so I'll take that. It gets us to 30 diamonds of our 35, so we're almost done mining, which makes me pretty happy because I want to go explore the ocean. Well, I'll be honest, nothing really happened on day 29. I literally just stripped mined in a new tunnel and found absolutely nothing, so let's just go on to day 30. Okay, I'm really hoping we can just get these diamonds. I, you know, I normally like mining, but right now I just want to go have fun in the ocean and not be mining. Just takes one good vein and we'll be out of here. So we just got to get lucky one more time. Okay, people, we have a diamond. There's at least one. We need four more. Okay, there's two. There's three. Two, three, four, five. We got it. Oh my God, we got it. My brain kind of stopped working there when I tried to count that. So that's a dub. Okay, we're done. I don't even know what time of day it is at this point. So I don't know how much time we have left today. But tomorrow we will for sure be in the ocean. All right, let's put this stuff in the furnace and then we'll put everything else away. And when did I get five diamonds? Wait, you're, I could have left earlier. When did I have five diamonds? Did I get them from crates or something? Well, whatever, I guess it's a good thing, but uh, more importantly, let's make our new gear. Okay, last thing we are gonna do today is mine up some obsidian so we can make ourselves an enchanting table. Perfect. Okay, people, it's finally time to explore the open ocean to see what kind of fun we got here. Okay, first thing's this little sand structure, which I saw from our raft, but I don't really know if this is anything significant. Yeah, that ended up being nothing, but that's all right. Okay, I did find us a little shipwreck here, so hopefully we can get some goodies. Okay, we got some books. That could be a bookshelf if we get enough. Some paper, that's good too. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take the door just in case. Swimming through here like Michael Phelps. Okay, this one, there, now we got some good stuff. I saw some emeralds. I didn't really take a good look there, but emeralds, I think it's like a globe or something, which is, I guess, cool. Let me look. Let's see. We got lapis, emeralds, iron, and this globe, which I'm excited for. It's even, wow, this is nice. I hope I can, like, put this down and spin it or something, because that'd be awesome. Oh, might have ourselves another shipwreck here. Let's see. All right, are we gonna get some more goodies? Maybe a second globe, that'd be fun. First chest is awful. Uh, I mean, I, I guess we got more paper, but outside of that, that's pretty bad. Let's go seek refuge in this door. Can I, come on, reach the chest, there we go. Book and paper, okay. So, I mean, we could theoretically 
get our bookshelves through this, but it's going to take a lot of shipwrecks if we do it this way. So it might be better to go villager route. So we might end up doing that, which kind of sucks because then we could have just traded for all the armor, but that's fine. I mean, this will be good for now. At least I won't die. Or at least hopefully I won't. Okay, we got one more chest here. This one's got a lot of shiny stuff. Really not all that great, but I guess I'll take it. Oh, look, we got a hammerhead here. Wait, is he chasing us? Wait, oh no, oh my, he's chasing us for sure. Hey, we're getting circled. This is like Jaws or something. What is going on? I'm just going to, I'm going to keep on going and hope he doesn't eat my boat or something. Oh, well, yeah, there he is. I thought, I thought he left for a second. He's, he's still here chasing us. Sir, can you just leave me alone? Whoa, what is that? It's like a, it's not an ocean monument, but it's built of the same blocks. Okay, hopefully we don't die going here. I'm a little worried because I don't know. I don't know what this is. Find ruined vanilla temple. Oh, uh, this is not a vanilla temple. I'll be honest, but you know, what? I'm taking out the shark. I'm sick of this guy. Come here. Yep. Mm hmm. You're not, you're not touching me. You're, I'm not letting you touch me. That's what I thought. That was, that was kind of anticlimactic, but okay. Let's go ahead and check this place out. Let's just hop in this center area. See what's going on. We've got a spawner below me. I'm assuming it hopefully it doesn't spawn sharks. Got a chest here. Okay, nothing too exciting yet. I, I think it's either drowned. Oh, I just, I heard it drowned. Okay. So I think we're spawning drowned, which isn't too bad because they aren't too scary. I'm trying to find some more chests, but I'm not having much luck. This definitely generated weird too, but. Yeah, I mean, I can't even find more chests. I don't understand the purpose of this structure. Oh, there's a barrel up here. Oh, there's a ship in the distance. Whoa. Okay, this barrel's good. We got a gapple, enchanted gapple, and a diamond. So I'll take that. Got some seeds too, I guess. That'd be decent for a farm. Even though I hate farming watermelons, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, this place looks sweet, but there's not actually all that much. I'm a little disappointed. Well, let's head towards this ship. I'm hoping it's friendly. Okay, I found another shipwreck on the way to the actual floating ship, so I'm going to loot this real quick. That's a busy chest. We got potatoes, some more paper. That's not bad. Ow. Ow. The drowning hurts. The second chest here, it is all paper, but we've broke a stack of papers. Any more chests in here? Not that I'm seeing. Oh, there's one back here. Oh. Oh. Oh, door, please work. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, we found the shiny chest, not too bad. Oh, this door, I'm glad I picked up this door. That was a lifesaver. Right, we're coming up to the ship. It is sufficiently killing my frames and it's villagers. Okay, well, this is not what I was hoping and I'm hearing a lot of them. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm gonna try and break in. What is that? What are you? Is it a, oh, it's a squid or octopus or one of the two, okay. Ow. Ow, ow. Oh my, this poison, what is going on? Oh, wow, this hurts. There's another ship. Okay, uh, I think that octopus poisoned us. I'm gonna say it's octopus. Now I'm assuming this is another not friendly ship, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, this looks exactly the same. And yep, I hear illagers and zombies. This one somehow works. All right, we're gonna head back to the first one and actually try and break in this time. All right, got a little waterfall entrance here. Can't pick up my water bucket. Oh, man, I fell. Let's get back up. Okay, we are on solid blocks here. Okay, I didn't see too many right there. That seemed manageable. Here we go out. Not a good start. There's only three right now. This is, this is we can handle this. Now there's four. Okay, I'm getting shot a lot. We get out of here. We got two down. Oh, I'm seeing a lot more in the back though. Okay, oh, it's like a firing squad. This doesn't feel fair. Give me out. Give me out. Give me my water. No, give me, please. No, I don't want to open the chest. Stop. Give me out. Okay. Luckily, they're not jumping off. That could be bad. I, I want to know what's inside, though. All right, I'm going to try and sneak back up here. All right, let me in. Let me out. Oh. I hear so many illagers. This is a little, this is bold. This could be a horrible idea. Oh boy, this is greedy. Okay, let's uh, don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, okay, I caught him. Caught him. I don't think they can open trap doors or doors, so I think I'm fine. And the chest loot's awful. Okay. Oh boy. There are so many above me. I think there's a chest right here. 
Oh no. Oh, I guessed wrong. I guessed wrong. Can we plug? I, I'm trying to plug the hole. I'm trying to plug. Oh, the, nope. They're funneling through. They're fu it's like me after eating Taco Bell. It's my. Oh god, give me out. Oh man, I am just peppered with arrows, man. That is. That's a sight. Oh, there's spawners underwater too? But they're not spawning, so that's good for me, I guess. Let's just hop on the boat. We gotta get out of here. I think we're just gonna row ourselves home. Once I get some better gear, I'll come back here. But right now, I mean, even with the base diamond, we got smoked. But I wanna take over one of those ships. I think that'd be cool to, like, have one. <sighs> okay, finally home. It's, like, actually relieving to be home. Now the last little bit of the day was just me sorting out my loot and playing with the globe. Okay, can I spin it? I can. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's like two in the morning right now and I'm sitting here spinning a globe on Minecraft. What can get better? Wow. I mean, that is nice. Alrighty, so I think today I'm going to make another bridge to start the next section of the raft. I'm planning on making the next section a storage area because while I think the barrel circle actually doesn't look that bad in the middle of the raft, I'd still prefer a dedicated building just because I think it'll look nice and overall, I mean, we don't need the barrels in the middle, let's be honest. Okay, so day 34, I really just finished up making the bridge and then made the circle for the storage section of the raft. Nothing too exciting, so let's just go straight on to 35. The floor of this section is going to be much more simple than the last because that created more issues than it was honestly worth. Okay, as you can see here, we're just going with simple two different styles of wood and that's it. Maybe throw some glowstone in this later for some lighting, but outside of that, this is it. I just want it simple and clean. Alrighty, right now I'm just working on some pillars for the outside. And I'm already really liking the way they look with these trap doors and the stairs. I think this is going to look pretty clean. I'll be honest, although I have these pillars I like, I don't have an exact idea on where I'm going with this build, but I think we got a good start. Okay, so for the walls, I decided to chisel some cobblestone into this brick cobblestone because while stone brick probably looks a little bit better, you know, we don't have that type of resource right now. I'm not sitting here smelting stone for four straight days doing this, so this is gonna have to work. And I mean, I'll be honest, it's a pretty close second in terms of looks. Alrighty, right now these walls are going to look really lame. I'm just putting in a basic flat wall, but then once these are all in, I'm going to go in and make it not so flat because the one no-no of building in Minecraft, if you want it to look decent, at least in my opinion, is it cannot be flat, at least have something on it. Okay, I have an idea for the wall. We're going to make these bougie fences and then I'm going to put them, well, inside the wall. Alrighty, we'll punch this out. Put the fences in here. We're going to do, I, I tend to do this shape a lot, but I really like it. It's just like a chain link shape. And I think it looks really good inside walls. Yeah, from the outside, I think this already looks really good. I think once we raise the pillars a little bit and then uh, replicate the bottom to the top, this is going to look pretty spiffy. I'm pretty excited. I think this might be a cook. Okay, now I do think there's a little too much cobblestone in a row, so I'm going to split it up with some wood pillars just to give it a little more variety. Oh, yeah. Let's just get that music back up. Like I said earlier, we are going to replicate the bottom to the top, so this won't look as weird with this little cobblestone section up top. So it looks a little uneven right now, but I... I think I have an idea to fix that, so I'm not too worried about that, so let's go ahead and I'll probably just start with the stairs and then we'll throw in the trap doors after and yeah, let's just get a little, little montage going. You know what, I'm actually going to throw in some trap doors here too. I think it'll look nice and yeah, I'm liking the way that's looking. So the next step is putting in the stairs. I say step like I have this planned out, I'm literally just free handing this as I go, but it's turning out pretty good so far, so I'll take it. The last thing before we put in the roof is going to be the stair trim on the top. I can't lie, this is taking me forever because I want to make sure all the stairs all flow properly and symmetrically. And I'm kind of having some issues here, I can't lie. Here's a little gainer of what we're cooking right now, and I love it. I mean, this is really exciting. I think this looks awesome. Now, I am going to add these slabs to the bottom of the build just to match it up with the upper trim. I think it'll just kind of complete it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. 
yeah this is nice just gonna need some lanterns on the outside and a roof and then we can actually do the interior portion which is honestly my least favorite i feel like i'm really bad at doing the interiors of builds and yeah i don't know i'm, I'm honestly not too excited about that part but i think the outside's looking great okay as you can see here we're working on the roof finally now we are gonna do i think just a couple levels of stairs and then flatten it out with like an open glass design up top just give it a little spice and hopefully some natural lighting because i'll be honest these shaders look awesome but they are a little dark all right we made pretty good headway on the build today now i think it's time to get some sleep So the stair portion is done. Now I just need to figure out how I want to make the glass portion. All right, I can't really tell, but I think this is looking pretty decent. You can see my little design on the floor there so I can replicate it a little bit easier. Uh, if you're a child, you might think it looks like something a little, uh, you know, I'd call it a bullseye, but I think if I was 12 again, I would maybe call it something else. But anyways, all right, let me knock all this out. Yeah, okay, I'm liking the circle. Now I just need to grab more sand because we are completely out of glass. Alrighty, we got some more glass here, so let's put this in. Now I'm not gonna fill this all the way in. I think I'm gonna do like two separate rings and then fill the middle part in with wood. All right, so I did end up doing that. Now I just got to level this out. I should have just used regular blocks probably, but I'm already this deep with the slabs, so I'm just going to finish it out with that. Cool. Yeah, okay. I mean, this isn't a design I've ever really done before, but I think it looks pretty good. I was hoping that, you know, with the glass, it would bring in a little more light, but we can always throw some lanterns and like glowstone around, so I don't think it'll be a big deal, but it's just not ideal. And the next step for the build is, of course, figuring out the designs for the chest because, you know, we don't just throw down chests like barbarians okay we have a little more class than that i definitely want at least four chests per wall and then maybe we'll throw in some barrels to fill it out you know what speaking of that let's go pick up those empty ones okay so all these barrels is probably a bit overkill but i think it looks pretty nice and again i know it's super dark in here we're gonna fix that because right now I mean, this is just this is ridiculous. All right, let's just make sure these are actually empty. Okay, gonna put some more chests in now. We're, like I said earlier, I think we are gonna have to maybe spice this up a little bit and try and figure out the lighting a little more. But for now, let's just get the basics in. Yeah, okay, so about the lighting, we're gonna take out these two middle ones and then maybe just toss some lanterns in. Okay, yeah, I could get behind that and then maybe take out these middle ones. Yeah, okay, I think that's gonna look good. So let's go ahead and put this last one in here. I like that. But A, you can actually see the chest now, and B, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so all the flat walls are done. Now we need to figure out something to do with these corners. Now I'm gonna try and make more storage in these corners. It's just figuring out how to do this properly. Okay, put these two up here. So I just put in some stripped spruce wood in the middle here is a little pillar and i think this is gonna work out pretty good okay right now i'm just replicating all the corners and that's not how i want the chest excuse me there we go oh, no okay don't hold there we go yeah so just gonna replicate the corners and then we're also gonna have to figure out how to light these up at some point but like with the walls let's just get the basics in and we'll figure the rest out later okay i got the corners done so i'm gonna actually throw in some barrels here i think this could look pretty good now that the barrels are in i think it's time we go to the nether because i thinking glowstone i love the lanterns but i think we need to mix it up okay we got the obsidian now i'm just making the portal i'm putting it down here because i do not want to deal with random stuff on our raft i don't i don't need pigment i don't need a gas somehow coming on through and ruining everything so we're just gonna put this down here Alrighty, i was just upstairs looking for some flint and we don't have any so let's ow let's go back down and punch some gravel until we get some flint and boom we're the winner of a fine piece of flint now let's make the flint and steel and light this portal oh oh these shaders make the portal look awesome what the oh that is gorgeous okay people it's time for the spooky nether 
Where? Oh no, we spawned in like a ravine, which I guess makes sense because I am at Y11 with the portal. So that's not ideal, but we're gonna find our way out of here, I guess. Oh, hello officer, excuse me. Okay, we're finally out of the ravine, so that's good. Now we just need to find some glowstone. Oh, got a bunch here. Let's just build up. And start punching the glowstone. Got a decent amount there, but we're gonna need probably quite a bit more. So time to go searching again. Oh, ow! Jerk, get off me, man! What the? Oh no, it's a giant fucking mosquito! Get off me! Oh no, I cannot stand these. I'm gonna take it out on this child. Oh, he's getting away. That's fine. Oh, Hoglin, gonna. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you. I'm just gonna walk away. These mosquitoes, I swear, I think they spawn like everywhere and they just drive me nuts. And here's another one. Please leave me alone. I don't want this. Oh no, not a. Not, come on. Look, here's the deal. If I wanted to get my soul sucked out of me, I would have just went to my local massage place and slipped the masseuse an extra 20 bucks. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. I mean, there's another one. Oh, I actually stopped that one. Well, I'll update you once we hopefully get to some glowstone. Finally, some good news. We made it back to Glowstone, and I have not been sucked off by a mosquito, so that is a win. Oh, we got some bogeys here, and another mosquito. I I'm gonna lose my mind. They don't even, like, deal damage. They're just, like, annoying and gross. You know, I think the piglins actually shot the mosquito there, so that was kind of helpful. Oh, there's another one, and he's on me. I am just... I mean, I'm done. <laughs> This is actually making the game unenjoyable. And there's another one. They're just so dumb. I just hate the way they look. They make me angry. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're back at the nether portal. We're leaving. No more mosquitoes. Life is good. Well, today after that disaster of a day in the nether, I just want to do some building. So we're going to try and finish the storage room up today. Right now, I'm just putting some cobblestone bricks under the chests. Now that that's done, I'm going to chisel some glowstone. I think this one looks the best by far. I really don't like any of the other ones. And then I'm going to try putting them behind the chest. See how this looks. I don't like that in the slightest. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately. I know I just put this cobblestone in, but maybe if we put it under the chest, it'll look better. This has potential. The little under lighting could look good. Yeah, that is much better. I kind of wish I could light up the top chest too but we're just gonna have to live with it not being lit up but yeah so now our next step here is to fill in the backs of the chest with the cobble and then take out the cobble i just put in and put in the glowstone so yeah okay this is looking pretty good again the top chests aren't super lit up which i don't love but it's good enough now we just need to fill in the gap above like the stair trim on each of the storage areas. And I think I have an idea. All right, the idea is nothing special, by the way. I realized I kind of framed that up to sound like special, but it's just the Celtic cobblestone. I think it looks nice because it connects to itself pretty well. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this all in. And boom, we are done. I know I've said this like 20 times in the last five minutes, but I'm really liking the way this turned out. I mean, that's all I've said about this build, but I think it's looking good. I like it for the 100th time. Okay, time to put the loot from the barrels into the new chest area. Oh wait, I just realized I kind of made these chests useless. It's a little bit awkward. How did I not notice that? I'm sure one of you already yelled at me for that, but I think we're just gonna leave it because I kind of like how it looks anyways. And well, I think we have plenty of storage as it is, so yeah. The rest of day 45 was really just me moving all the loot. So let's just move on to day 46. I'll be honest, it's kind of weird not having all the barrels here now, but I guess we'll get used to it. I'm putting these crafting tables in here just so it looks a little different and also just for convenience sake. And as you can see here, we're starting to expand to our next part of the raft. It's honestly kind of bad that I'm making this bridge for the third time now and I still don't have it completely memorized. Like this pretty small bridge that really isn't like that crazy detailed takes me a whole day to make. That's just uh, maybe not the best look, but it is what it is. I'm still waiting for the day a shark comes by and eats me while I'm digging this all up. Time to collect all the floating sand. Just realized we don't have any furnaces anywhere, so I'm going to toss some in right here. 
And there we go. Now we can actually cook the sand, which I think you should be able to cook sand in a blast furnace. That'd just be really convenient. Okay, and we're finally finishing up the bridge here. It took me more than a day. I mean, what is that? Just got to toss in the circle of glass. And then put the lanterns in. And boom, bridge is done. This time we're actually not going to go with a circular expansion. We're going to go with a big rectangle. Yeah, this should be big enough. Okay, step one of this expansion is going to be splitting this thing right down the middle. Now this is going to be a massive farming section of the raft. And I want this section in the middle so we're not just stomping on all our crops. You know, I got to be able to walk on not dirt. Okay, I'm not poverty. Huh. Looks like something ate a shark, which is kind of scary because that's, I mean, I'm most scared of sharks and something just ate one. So I don't know how to feel about that. Next thing is to set up these water fountains. Looking good. Fountain number two. Uh, fountain number two is too high. That doesn't look good. Let's fix that. Okay, try this again. Fountain number two. There we go. Hey, oh, uh, what, how? The math isn't mathing. Let me just, maybe the dirt will fix it. All right, there we go. Somehow you uh, put something there and it fills in water. Okay. Fountain number three's in. And lastly, fountain number four. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're going to do a little bit more than that. It's not just going to be dirt pillars, but for now, that's going to work. The next step is going to be replacing that dirt with some smooth stone. Perfect. Now the fountains are sort of done. We're going to need like a little base for them at some point, but for now, it's good. Okay, I've been messing with the fountains a little bit. I know I said I was just done, but I may like this a little bit more. It gives it a little more character. I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it yet, so I'm going to just throw down the dirt for now and then kind of just sit on this idea. All right, after my therapeutic dirt lane, I think we're just gonna go back to the normal design and then do like a tight outline on the water. I just, the other way, I think it's gonna take up more space than I want it to. So right here we are putting in the outline, just gonna fill this in and then we just start breaking the corners off. Beautiful. And yeah, okay, I like that quite a bit. Back to laying dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Well, we're officially out of dirt, so now I need to mine some, and I'm pretty sure there's a big deposit somewhere in this staircase down to the mine. I just gotta find it. Oh, winner. That took two seconds. Okay, well, while we mine this, we've officially hit the halfway point of this challenge and so far I think it's been pretty good. Once this farm island is complete, which won't take much longer, we're gonna make another exploration trip in the ocean to see if we can find anything else exciting. Okay, we're back placing dirt right now. I think most of today is probably just gonna be this and then of course outlining the fountains. So unless anything exciting happens, you probably won't see much of today. All right, people, it's time to make enough hose to film a rap video because we got a lot of dirt that needs to be tilled. Ah, doing this in the sunset, it's just nice, relaxing, and satisfying. What more can you want? Some of this middle area dirt here isn't going to stay saturated with water, so we're going to have to put in little source blocks of water to fix it at some point. More dirt mining. More dirt placing. Even more dirt mining. And shocking, I know, more dirt placing. And now it's full sorority mode. Okay, and then I just solved the saturation problem with these two block water holes. So yeah, we're all good there. Well, so we kind of have some bad news here. I was hoping to plant some carrots in our new farm and I seem to have eaten them all. Yikers. Wait, what the? I just duplicated the fishing rod. I guess since it forces you to have one in your inventory at all time, you can infinitely duplicate it by placing one from your inventory into a chest. This isn't helpful for much, but I guess it's kind of cool to know. So right now, all we have to plant is beetroot and potatoes. Doesn't get much more poverty than this, but we're gonna have to make it work. Whoa, 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 two big sharks. Let's get out of there. That was not, whoa. Alrighty, got some bone meal. Let's just bone our crops so we can, you know, 
see some exponential growth. I mean, look, I told you guys, you're going to learn a lot watching me, right? We invest now and it's going to grow exponentially. So we're going to be like the potato Kings. We're going to be living like an Idaho demigod or something. I don't know, or Ireland either, or maybe both. We're going to be an Idaho person who moved to Ireland, or I guess an Irish person who lives in Idaho would probably maybe make more sense but you get what i'm saying we're gonna have a lot of potatoes i do need some food for the short term though so i am gonna cook some of the potatoes because exponential growth isn't gonna do much if we starve to death you know this giant hole right in the middle of my raft doesn't seem all too safe so i'm gonna just cover it up in some trap doors i mean realistically you can't die if you fall in this because there's a water source at the bottom but just for convenience sake so we can run across it we'll just put them all in and i didn't make them face all the same way. That's going to bug me. I know it's kind of unnecessary, but I got to fix it. Today's the day we finally go back out on the ocean. So let's go ahead and do it. Well, I found yet another one of these ships. Maybe this one's friendly by chance. Oh, yeah. No, that's not the sound of a friendly ship. Let's uh, maybe we'll find a different one. Okay, there's another ship in the distance here, but I actually can't tell what that is. What is that? Wait, is that a villager? Oh my, it is a villager. Sir, get in my boat. Oh, there's two. Sir, please get in my boat. Come on, I'm backing it up on you. I know you like it. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we got some barrels floating around too. That one's loot was kind of made. Maybe the second one's better. No, okay. Still kind of buns. Okay, I did spot a chest up here. Let's see what's... Okay, a couple emeralds. Not bad. Piece of lapis. I'm trying to remove the jobs off these villagers because I don't want, like, fishermen. I'm really struggling here because they keep taking the jobs on the barrels and these drowned are not making my life any easier. I kind of feel bad because these are probably their crewmates, but they gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna box up the villager here so he doesn't either drown by himself, get eaten by a shark, or just get lost. I mean, villagers are just dumb. Trip one of two in rescuing our new villager friends. Hopefully we can get them to make some babies so we can make a little trading haul. If I'd known there were potential villagers out in the ocean, I would have just skipped mining for diamonds altogether and just went straight for trading for everything. But here we are. I mean, I'll probably still trade with them just because it's nice to have a source of diamond tools and armor, but yeah. Okay, we're finally home and now I'm gonna lock this guy in a corner so he doesn't, like the other guy, get eaten by a shark or get lost in the ocean i mean i swear sometimes they really just try and get themselves killed okay time to get our other new friend off the shipwreck hey buddy i'm back and i'm gonna let you out of your hole and let's get you out of here yep, there we go get in the boat and let's leave home sweet home all right just hop up on the raft like a good villager this guy what uh where's huh Oh no, okay. Uh, wait, can you just get up here? I can't lose both of you. Get, come on. Get up, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him for now. Hopefully, is he in here? Please be in here. Oh my, okay. All right, of course he's at the barrels again, but you know what? We got our villager back, he's safe. We're gonna really box him up this time, sir. You cannot, oh, I did not wanna fall in here with you. Don't, don't leave. Perfect. Okay, now we gotta box this guy up. And again, we are gonna do better this time because apparently last time we did not do a good job. I think the stairs kind of messed it up, but look at that, you're done. Right now I'm looking for some barrels in the ocean, hoping to find a carrot in one of them, but I've yet to have any luck even finding a single barrel. And I honestly can't remember if they even dropped carrots, but I feel like they did. Well, I had zero luck finding barrels, but now I'm lighting up the storage room a little better because this place gets really dark at night and it's just not fun to be in. As you can see, all I really did was just throw in some glowstone because, uh, well, it's simple and effective. Well, people, I want to expand so you'll never guess what time it is. And boom, we're done. Well, with the bridge and uh, man, these take a while to build. I know I've said this, I think, two or three times now, but you'd think I'd be a little faster by now, but I don't know. It just takes me a while. What can I say? Granted, yesterday I did also do some basic farming, so it wasn't all building the bridge, but it was mainly just building the bridge. I can't lie. You know, it's actually been a while. Why don't you guys join me on a little Paul Bunyan adventure? Expansion number four to the raft tier. I'm planning on making this the villager trading hall. I'm not gonna do like one of the really basic ones that are just like super efficient. I actually wanna make it look kind of nice. So we're making this thing pretty big. Kinda like my boy Drake. 
The second half of the day, as silly as it sounds, was really just me browsing the chisel menu and trying to pick a wood combination I like for the flooring. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Okay, I'm thinking this is gonna be the premise of the floor design, kind of that same chain sort of pattern I like to do. I don't know, I just really like it. I think it works for like everything, walls and floors included. So yeah, and I think both of these oak woods look nice together, so we're just gonna run it. Okay, so for the sake of symmetry, I'm gonna push this back about one layer or position. I, you know what I'm saying, basically because it doesn't line up well with the floor design right now in terms of the pattern. So if I just push it back one, it'll all be symmetrical and it'll be gorgeous. Of course I do that. Okay, much better. Time to repeat this two more times. And we're done. Now I just gotta decide what to fill in the rest of the floor with, which it's gonna have to be something that's not oak wood. Maybe we do like stone or we could do a darker wood. I think I'm leaning maybe towards stone though. All right, after some debate, I did end up going with some chiseled cobblestone and this chiseled cobblestone is like, amazing i mean it looks super smooth and nice and it doesn't cost coal to make so this is a big win here and i honestly like the little bit of texture on it i think it looks really good i mean i might even go as far to say that it's looking a little schnazzy holy that was zesty i think i talk about drake one time and i just start getting zesty out here it's not well it's not good but i'll tell you what that stupid clip of him with his hat saying I need the Max Ween. It's so funny for some reason. The guy's just like a cornball, but it's so funny. I love Drake so much. Anyways, random tangent. Let's keep playing some Minecraft. I'm sure I'll get hate for liking Drake because people love to hate the guy. The guy cooks. I think I might throw in another kind of cobblestone block just to add to the schnazziness. I, like I just said, I mean, I just creamed over this block. Why I described it like that, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I think... Oh, I lost my train of thought after saying that. <laughs> oh, okay. There's just this big, you know, open kind of redundant area of plain cobblestone. I think if we get something a little more interesting in the middle of it, it'll look nice, basically. I'm sorry for that tragedy of an explanation there. Okay, we're back with some fresh, funky fresh, actually, cobblestone. And I went with Celtic because I really like the way it connects. And yeah, but as I was saying earlier in the worst explained thing ever there's just these big kind of plain gaps and i want to fill them so we're just going to keep doing this and it's going to look great Alrighty, so bad news we actually have zero oak logs so i'm going to cut this down and that gives us 21 which isn't great so we're gonna have to plant some trees somewhere all right i'm at the farm i'm just gonna plant a bunch of these oak saplings down because we really just need wood so yeah well, let's get this done Okay, so right now I'm just placing out where each pillar of the building is going to be. Now, I can't remember if I already said this, but my plan for this platform is for it to kind of be a villager hub. Now, this back section here doesn't exactly line up with the other pattern I was doing. So we're going to have to find out some different sort of design on this back wall. But honestly, I think we could do like a cool like emerald type of design on it or something. So this might honestly be better. Good news is, though, that we have a bunch of these oak trees to cut. So let's go ahead and be a lumberjack. How is the sun already setting? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> my dogs just went crazy and I didn't pause the game. So yeah, this was an extra short day, but that's fine. You know what? I'm actually gonna stop the captions for the rest of the video. I just watched a video by a guy named Soup Soup and he's inspired me to not worry as much about retention-based editing. This may sound confusing after the intro, but I'm gonna scrap my current one and completely rework it, which will of course be the one that you heard at the beginning. So go and give him some love from the Waffle Army and shout out to you Soup Soup because you've kind of revitalized why I originally got into YouTube, so thank you. Honestly, let me know if you guys like the captions. I mean, they're somewhat retention-based editing, but I don't mind it, but I figure I just try taking them out now and then see what you guys think. So let me know. I can do them for the next one if people like them or if they're just kind of a waste of time, it would save me literally like 20 hours. So please let me know. First objective today is to use all of our newfound oak logs to build up these pillars. As you can see, this is gonna be a pretty tall structure. And of course we're one log short. Okay, well, hopefully there's another tree to chop. Hello, Mr. Tree. Oh, got another one. Gorgeous. Let's hop back up here and boop. Perfect. Okay, let's keep it cooking. Alrighty, I chopped like one or two more trees. I can't remember, but now we're just going to start connecting the bottom here. 
Uh, we have nowhere near enough wood, but I guess I'm just going to kind of do it as I get the materials because I don't really know what else I want to do right now since I'd really like to get this trading hub started. Oh, I just realized we are officially out of food. So I guess I should probably do some farming. Honestly, I'm just going to farm the potatoes for now because I don't feel like making bowls for the beet soup. And honestly, the amount of inventory it takes up is just a pain. So we're just going to keep living off of baked potatoes. Oh, I'm sure the fish will like this. Here you go. I'm actually going to plant some potatoes since we're going to need a bunch to breed the villagers. Uh, editing waffles here. I stopped playing midday and came back and forgot what I was doing. So now we're cutting trees here. I should really probably write down what I'm doing when I log off beforehand. But yeah, so potato planting should be coming back pretty soon here. Okay, I need some spruce wood. And for some reason, these aren't growing. I don't, they're like right on the cusp. Of being a full-grown tree but they haven't grown in forever and i don't understand why it's like the biggest tease ever and i'm not a fan that being said though i am gonna replace the birch tree with another spruce tree and hopefully this one grows i mean maybe it's the hedges but i don't know i'm just gonna take them out hopefully this fixes it i feel like they've grown with the hedges before so i don't quite get why it's not working now but i really just need the spruce man okay we're back to laying wood here just interpret that however you'd like well, it looks like the hedges were the culprit because it's been like, I don't know, maybe a minute and the spruce tree grew. So kind of lame, but I'll take it. What in the sh is going on here? I leave for a couple minutes and a tree grows inside of a water fountain and now a fifth of my crops are no longer planted. Yes, that's what I wanted today. That is awesome. Perfect. You, sir, can f off. And now it's even worse. Okay. Uh, wow, that's karma. Just scoop this up and now we're all good once this drains. Oh, and I guess I should probably replace the fountain water. But uh, lesson learned, don't plant trees next to fountains because then you get an extra large fountain, which is not ideal next to farms or anywhere really, but that's okay. We're learning. Okay, gonna start day 62 off with some more tree chopping here. All right, we just chopped a bunch of trees and now I'm back to expanding my potato farm. I thought I did this before, but I don't know. I don't know, I guess I didn't. Okie dokie, we got enough potatoes to supply both Idaho and Ireland at this point, so it's time to make some baked potatoes. Question to you though, this is really important and to me, there's only one right answer. What's your favorite style of potato? I mean, you got baked, you got mashed, you got scalloped, you got puree if you're really bougie, which I guess is kind of just a form of mashed potatoes, I feel like, but I don't know, you tell me. Let me know. I think mine, if you want to get really bougie, is like a potato puree. Granted, I've only had it once in my life at a fancy anniversary dinner and oh my, it was delicious. Rich people know what they're doing. Okay, now I can't afford to go there uh, more than once a year really, but. Alrighty, next step of the build is to just put these stairs on the base here. And I am having some problems doing this efficiently. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we gotta repeat it up top. Then we do it over here. Also, I still need to finish connecting these portions, which we may be able to do now with all the wood we just chopped this morning. Next, I'm gonna need to get more oak leaves so I can make more of those hedges. Only thing that sucks about de-leaving the trees is the fact that it doesn't let you insta-break the entire thing anymore, which is actually kind of interesting if you think about it, because that means the tree feather mod recognizes whether or not something is a tree based on how many leaves are around it. At least I would think. Um, I would have thought the game would just be like, oh, it was grown from a sapling, so the mod will work, but I think I was wrong. So that's kind of interesting and really random. We're going to need a lot of stairs, so this tree right here is going to be really helpful. I honestly don't even think I need this second suit, bleh, spruce tree, but I guess I might as well chop it down. Last thing we are going to have time for today is finishing the connections of the oak logs. I'm also going to clean up my inventory a bit, but you guys don't need to waste your time watching me do that. So on to day 63 for you. Starting off day 63, we are back to outlining with spruce stairs. I mean, this is exhilarating gameplay. What can I say? Wait, what the? How do I leave a single log missing? Who let me forget that? You're fired. You're, you know what? For that, you're hitting subscribe and like right now. And but on a more serious note, if you have made it this far, thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long one since it is a like live commentary type deal. So just going to grab one of you, then place you down and perfect. Okay. For the next part of the build, we're going to have to chisel some cobblestone. Wait, what? I have upgraded from missing a single log to missing an entire row. That's some bad structural integrity there. That's some bad building on my end. What am I doing? 
Okay, with that done, the outline is officially complete. Let me just make sure. Okay, we're looking good. Everything looks complete, actually, this time. Okay, next up, we're crafting some hedges. Not gonna be using them until the cobblestone is put in, but I figured I might as well just make them now. The wall design is basically just gonna replicate this. I wanted it to kind of look like an emerald. I mean, this isn't like the best looking thing, but it's kind of all we can do with the space. And I think it gets the point across. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then the bigger emerald is gonna be on the back wall. Now on these smaller sections, I can't really make the emerald type of design work. So I think we're just gonna do big rectangles and basically just make them big windows. And as you can see, we are filling in the gaps in the walls with hedges. And I'm also going to do this on the little emerald portions as well. So there's what the basic walls are going to look like. And looks like I missed a couple hedges. Again, I don't know what I'm smoking today, but I'm not paying quite enough attention. The next thing we're going to need for the walls is a bunch of hedges and trap doors. I honestly don't think 46 trap doors is going to be enough, but it's enough to start. So let's just get it going. Alrighty, so the first addition to the outside of these walls, to give it a little more depth, are going to be these leaf pillars. And now the pillars are done, so now it's time to add some trap doors. I'm basically just encasing the leaf blocks and then extending an extra trap door downwards to connect it to the stairs. I tested this look in a super flat world and loved it, so we're going to use it here. Well, just like I thought, we had nowhere near enough trap doors, so let's make a bunch more. And now we're back placing them. I gotta say, they're kind of too expensive in my eyes i mean was it six planks per trap door oh no you get two trap doors so three per trap door is that expensive Ugh, i don't know because like if you compare it to a pressure plate no like a pressure plate being two planks is kind of ridiculous to me i mean i guess a button being one plank is kind of silly you should get like a bunch of buttons i don't know someone needs to make a mod for that where like one plank equals like gazillion buttons because like you're telling me the big old plank equals one little button like the math just ain't mathing i mean that's just wasteful mojang we should you know save the planet we need to use every little bit of the resource we can Okay, coming down the home stretch of day 64 here, and I think we're making some pretty good progress on this villager hall. I probably, now that I think about it, should have been breeding villagers this entire time while building it, but I'm already this far, so I'm just gonna finish the build and we'll start breeding later. But yeah, that definitely would have been smart. Alrighty, so for this back portion, like I said earlier, or at least I, I think I did, we're gonna try and do like an emerald type design here with some leaves. I haven't actually tested the design in the wall, I just kind of popped up in my brain and so maybe we can get this to work i don't know all right so we got a little tiny emerald now to fit the wall i mean i know it's not exactly the real emerald shape but it's close enough so i'm going to try putting in these hedges here and that's not it the gap looks funky okay that sucks that i know it's a mod but like why would you not have it connect better to the grass i feel like that would have been smart and if you can hear my dog i'm sorry in the background but yeah i got dogs that one's name is stella so everyone say hi to stella okay what if instead we kind of fill in the inside with some smooth cobble it doesn't look bad now the question is do i go with the hedges for the emerald shape or just the leaves we don't need some more oak wood so let's go chop a tree holy wow this is the chonkiest oak tree i've ever seen oh my goodness the girth on this thing is insane all right, what if we just try hedges right in the middle? Because I like the leaf blocks on the outside because they're a little bit brighter than the hedges. Like you can see there, the hedges are way darker. And then we'll put the leaf in the corner. Maybe that's it. I'll come back to you when I know. Hold on. Well, okay, I got some bad news here. I was trying to finish the back of the wall there, and we're out of cobble. So let me go see if we have any more in some chests. Well, okay, more bad news. We're somehow out of cobble, so it's time to take our gravity elevator and go mine some. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't mine a ton. I, I could not be bothered right now. I just mined enough to finish the wall, so I'll probably regret it later not mining more, but it's fine. Okay, that's looking kind of bland, even with these, let me put these up on the corner. It's just not working. I think we need to add like a little more spice to it it just looks too i don't know just mid what if we try some celtic block let's try that i can't is this does this look better i can't tell if this looks better i think i'm just gonna try it and then you guys tell me i think it looks better than the smooth though so we're gonna run it i think we're probably still gonna change this up maybe a little bit i don't know we'll figure it out tomorrow but you tell me what you would have used instead because sometimes i just i don't know yeah you know what no i <laughs> 
I slept on it in real life and this is not it. We're gonna go back to the like tile looking cobble and find a way to make it better. Cause the Celtic, it's just not working. Put that back in. I mean, I know I said I didn't like it yesterday, but it's not bad. So I think for now, we're just gonna work on the roof and maybe we'll change this later. I don't know, this is just, Okay, so after quite a bit of messing around, I think this is what the first portion of the roof is going to look like. Um, obviously, this isn't going to cover the whole entire hall. I'm going to do like two smaller subset roofs next to this one. Honestly, not a whole lot to say right now. We're just going to place a bunch of stairs. So enjoy the little quick cut thing. I don't know. Do you guys like that? Like, I like it. Whenever I see people use it in videos, it just like makes my brain happy. So hopefully I'm not using it too much. Alrighty, well the day's almost over and we're officially out of stairs and spruce wood. So last thing I'm gonna do today is just chop down our two chunk of trees and uh, get back at it tomorrow. Okie dokie, so I just said okie dokie. Uh, you can click off that, yeah. You know, if you wanna click off unsubscribe and report this channel for being awful, I wouldn't blame you after saying okie dokie, so go ahead. But as I was saying, um, we're just going to be building the roof more today, so I guess I'll update you guys when I'm done. All right, first portion here is done. Now, I do want to make sure I can place blocks on this part of the roof, and yep, okay, we're good. So, that's good. Now, we can move on to these smaller portions. Like I said yesterday, I'm just doing kind of two mini roofs, so it's going to be three roofs in one, which is going to be kind of weird, but I kind of like the idea. Uh, just hopefully it turns out decent. Okay, the stairs are all in, so now I'm going to fill in the two block gap with slabs, and then I'll probably do another layer of slabs to give the top of the roof some more height and shape. We are indeed adding the second layer of slabs. I was not wrong. Okay, this one is done. Now it's just time to repeat the process on the other side. I honestly doubt we'll have time to finish this one today, but we should be able to get most of it. You know what they say, one tree a day keeps the... Well, you know, I actually don't know where to take this now. I was trying to cook something on the fly there and it just kind of fumbled. So uh, on to day 68. Boom, we have officially finished our two mini roofs. Now we have this kind of weird gap here but we are going to address that don't worry because inside right now this looks a little well it just looks a little off i think i'm just gonna fill it in with slabs at one level lower than the rest of the roof to give it some even more shape when you're actually inside the building so it's not as like flat because like i don't like the look of flat roofs inside i think it looks kind of goofy wow okay it's real dark in here so we're gonna have to figure out how to light this thing without just having torches all over the ground man these, these shaders i mean i think i've said it 15 times now but they really make stuff dark it's a little tough okay but i do have an idea for lighting up this uh interior here actually let me go grab some sticks out of the chest now we just chef up some fences put two of them here and then put the glowstone like it's a little hanging light boom all right, so as you can see here, I didn't make them all uniform. I kind of altered the heights. It's almost like a little like wave or like a snake or something. So it's not super boring. I think that's going to be what we stick with. And now I got to figure out how to do the other sections. Guys, I'll be honest. I've been trying to figure out how to evenly space these hanging lights on the sides and I cannot figure it out. I want it to be all symmetrical and nice. I don't know if it's going to work out. Like, I can't figure out the spacing. Oh my, it's like driving me nuts. I just keep messing up. Okay, I think I finally got it. Let's just try putting it in and I will update. Wait, hold on, pause. Yeah, okay, that's good enough for me. Just got to replicate it on the other side. And we're done, boom. Okay, now we got to check the lighting without all the torches and it's still really dark. What the fuck? That hedge window idea did not work either, by the way. This is not... Ah, what if I add this into the flooring? All right, so if I do that, it should fix our lighting issue for the most part. Now, the only issue is, is I think this is my last piece of glowstone. So probably gonna have to go to the nether and uh, punch some more glowstone tomorrow. We are indeed out of glowstone and the room is dark enough to the point that it is spawning mobs. So this is not good. Well, it's time to head back down to the nether so we can get some glowstone. We... Oh man, I forgot it's in a ravine. Okay, honestly, I'm just gonna mine from here until I find something closer than having to... I don't even know how I got out last time, so... We're just gonna mine dead straight till we can find some air, hopefully. 
Hey, okay. This is... We found air. Oh, um, this is the biome with the giant mosquitoes, though. That's not good. All right, well, get my anger in check here. This could piss me off. Okay, we do got some glowstone here. And in even better news, I haven't been assaulted by a mosquito yet. So this is going pretty good. Again, this is really all I'm doing here. So unless something interesting happens, I'll probably just show you me punching a bunch of this stuff. Hey, don't shoot me, jerk. That is not nice. You're interrupting my farming. I'm trying to be a good functioning member of society. I'm going to contribute to the economy with my glowstone and you're trying to kill me. <sighs> Better. Back to punching glowing squares. Well, that was a successful trip. Let's go home. Okay, let's make some glowstone so we can start fixing the lighting in the villager hub. Okay, yeah, that is much better in terms of lighting. I don't think this will be spawning mobs anymore. I think the next thing is putting some slabs above each of the fences so they're not just floating anymore. And the last major thing before we put in the villagers is gonna be figuring out how to fill in this gap here because right now it just looks weird. Okay, I got some vertical slabs to try out. Maybe this will work. I don't know how it's gonna connect with the stairs though. Yeah, like it leaves a little gap there and that almost makes it worse for some reason. So I don't think these are gonna work. I mean, it's not too noticeable from back here. I don't know. You know what? We're just going to run with it. I don't know what to do. And from a distance, I mean, can't tell too much. All right. Let's just do the same on this side here. Oh, no, dude. No. Three in a row. Of course, I don't have an axe on me either. This is just a disaster. Okay, actually, last thing is putting in a makeshift door so the villagers can't escape from their new, uh, we'll call it a home. Sure, this is kind of illegal, but at least they have a nice house. You know what? Let me put a slab on the crafting table so they don't park. We're out of here. And I think now we're all set so we can start moving these villagers in tomorrow. The goal for today is to move the villagers into their new home and then start breeding them. Okay, mister, you hop in the boat and let's... Oh, sh I forgot boats can't go upstairs. This could be a problem. So I'm 99% sure this doesn't work, but I'm just going to try... Yeah, okay, I thought so. That was that was a last ditch effort. So this might turn into a really frustrating day. Okay, let's get you into a boat. And oh, you have two sets of stairs we're gonna have to traverse. That's not good. Well, step one is gonna be to make sure this guy goes forward. So let's wall off the storage room. Now I'm really hoping this might be asking too much. I'm really hoping that the villager does not just run straight into the ocean like an idiot. It's shark infested waters. You were also just stranded at a shipwreck in the middle of the ocean. So right, I would think you would not want to go back in for a little bit. You don't want to swim right now, right? It's nice. So when I break this boat, do not run in the ocean. Don't, no, no. I mean, this has to be a sick joke. What is that? What is going through your big sausage nose brain to just walk in the ocean? Well, the next course of action is to basically break open the villager house and hope this dummy walks in. Okay, I added a platform he can stand on now. So it's time to box him up again so he can only go into the house and nowhere else, especially not the ocean. We're not doing that again. Okay, we're all set now on this monstrosity of a device here. Am I really gonna have to push you in? Are you like, you? well, I almost hope, and this would be detrimental for my world. I almost hope you get eaten by a shark. Like, you're making me push you in. How? I'm losing it. I am actually losing it right now. I'm surprised you even know how to swim at this point. You were acting so dumb. Like, bro, what are you doing? You're standing on... Oh, my goodness. I can't. I'm going to lose my mind. He's, like, standing on a trap door for no reason, dude. Just walk in the building. Okay. Finally pushed him in. Let's wall this off. Okay. He's in. But you know what? Since you were so bad, you're going back in timeout, okay? I'm boxing you up, and you're going to sit here and think about what you did. Well, I've learned from my mistakes here, and I'm walling off the ocean since these sailors seem to have an unhealthy relationship with it. It's like a form of Stockholm Syndrome at this point. Like, I don't get it, but hopefully this time goes better. Oh my, no way. Oh. Wow, that went really smooth. That was enjoyable. <laughs> That actually put a smile on my face since that went smoothly for once. I'll be honest, I was ready to punch a hole through my monitor because that first villager almost sent me to the roof, but yeah. Okay, buddy, you can't go that way. Oh, there's a hole. I got to patch this. Uh, you better stay jumping over there. No. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. No. What is wrong with you people? Oh my goodness. Just let me imprison you, please. 
Would you look at that though? We got two villagers in here. I guess it's time to go take down all the little barriers I made. Next thing the villager hall needs is gonna be a bunch of beds. So let's take our string and make some wool. Now we make our beds and boom. I'll just throw these down for now. I don't know if I'm gonna furnish this place completely or not. I feel like I should have at least a little bit, but I just don't really know how to decorate something like this. That's the weakest part of my building is interior design. So maybe I need to watch some like tip videos on that because I, I suck at that, I'll be honest. Well, time to have a sleepover with my new friends. Okay, I need you two to breed, so take some potatoes and uh, get to business, please. You know, since we're going to need a lot of potatoes to keep the villagers breeding, I think it's time to take out all the trees from here, and I may honestly just replace the entire farm with potatoes. Originally, I wanted to have all the different crops in a line, but at this point, I think I might as well just commit to one crop, since we only have a little over 25 days anyways, and our only other crop is beetroot, so... Kind of an easy decision. All right, right now I'm just harvesting all the fully grown potatoes and then we're gonna be planting uh, a whole farm's worth, which is probably gonna take a while. Yeah, wow, that took all day. Let's celebrate with uh, some potato rain. Woo, yeah, baby. Oh, before bed, let's check if our villagers did their thing. What the, I gave you potatoes. What are you doing? Get busy, I gave you privacy, man. What the, well, I guess we'll give them more tomorrow. Maybe I didn't give them enough. Okay, take some more potatoes. There, now get get active. Come on. Get, oh, oh, there we go. Nice. Here we are in the wild where we find two villagers in the midst of the dance of life. They've recently been spoiled with Ireland's finest potatoes by a waffle man and the hopes they can procreate so we can force them into free labor and trades. I'm sure this is totally legal and not weird. Uh, I think they're done. Yeah, they're done. We got a little baby villager. Here we go. One of many. Okay, now we need to make a bunch more beds. So let's grab the string, make wool, and then beds. This flooring design worked out perfectly for placing beds, actually. That was not the plan, but I like it. Okay, so I was just checking out the trades on the villagers we saved earlier, and one of them has a trade for ambergus, and in return you get 20 emeralds, which is kind of nuts. But I honestly have no clue to get this, so I'm going to look into it real quick, and I will update you. Well, bad news, the ambergus seems very rare, because the only way you can get it is by pushing a beached sperm whale back into the ocean. Now, I know that already sounds ridiculous, but to make it even harder, they only spawn on beaches during thunderstorms so yeah we aren't really getting these seeing as uh we haven't seen any beaches anywhere i guess i can make an artificial island which is low-key a good idea but i don't know how realistic that is and i don't even know if that'd work i don't know if it's like biome specific so yeah we're not okay right now i'm just sorting all of my potatoes so it's easier to give them in the right amount once their breeding cooldown is over for our next project, we are going to need some glass and... Oh, nice. There's more potatoes I can sort. Cool. It is oddly enjoyable sorting the potatoes solely through splitting them with right click. It's almost like Minecraft's version of 2048. But uh, needless to say, people, we got a lot of potatoes for breeding. All right, you take 12 potatoes. And you take 12 potatoes. Hey, you stupid baby. Did you just try and take those potatoes, man? Oh, oh yeah, crank a 90, box like a fish, your dog water, your dog water, go back to lobby little boy, no victory royale for you man, you just got boxed up. Before I do anything else today, let me give the villagers their Viagra so they can keep on cooking up some kids. Alrighty, now it's time to mine a bunch of sand for what is probably going to be the last addition to the villager hall. Still, this makes absolutely zero sense, but I love it. Whoa, fountain looks kind of weird from underneath. Anyways, back to digging sand. Time to go check on the villagers. Uh, I'm not seeing a new baby. What are we doing? Where's the new baby? Oh wait, it's right there. How did I miss you? I'm just gonna box this guy up too. I don't trust the babies, they're too small. I'm worried they can like squeeze out somewhere somehow. I honestly like boxing them in glass more. I think it's funnier, but we kind of need a lot of glass. So for now, we're just gonna use wood. Here's your Viagra, good sir. Alrighty, we got a fair bit of glass now, so it's time to do a little renovating. As you can see, step one is replacing this middle row with glass. I'm not going to do all the rows, just this middle one, just for some more variety. And I think it's just a cool idea. We got some baby making going down, which is great. I honestly don't know how many villagers I even want, but I'm just going to keep making more. And the new section is done. Yeah, I like this. This is just kind of cool. 
The next step is to replace all the hedges with glass panes. I think this will not only look nicer, but will also hopefully brighten up the room a little bit during the day. I think we did a good job in terms of fixing the lighting problem, but some more natural light would not hurt. Oh, time to let you out. Man, what a fun childhood that guy had. I mean, he just sat in a glass box the whole time. You know what? At least you can see his surroundings, unlike the new baby villagers who are just getting boxed in wood. Okay, so we still got a couple hedges to replace in the villager hall, which means I'm gonna need some more sand. Oh wait, this is so fun for some reason. Look at this spin. These shaders even make sea pickles look cool. How does that work? Okay, we're back with some sand. Time to just cook it up. Now we make some panes and put in the glass. One more time. Oh, time to free another villager from his uh, mini glass house. That's what we'll call it. That sounds better. Okay, time to spread the special food so we can get a couple more villagers. And I think it's finally time we start making some workbenches for these guys. Hopefully we have some flint because I want to start with fletching tables while we're still breeding so I can just build up a decent amount of emerald for once we get a weaponsmith, librarian, and all that good stuff. Give me some flint. Dude. Dude. You're telling me I went 0 for 28 on a 10% chance drop? That is not cool. Let's try this again. All right, beautiful. We have enough for four fletching tables, which means four sets of stick trades. Are you two done growing yet? Not quite, no, okay. Bought these down, and now we'll have a couple Fletchers to trade with. Oh geez, I'm actually almost out of beds already. I'm gonna need to find some more string to make wool. Okay, hopefully we can find some in the water. I haven't fished at all ever since becoming self-sufficient, so we haven't been getting any. Got a few pieces here. All right, there's enough for one piece of wool. Got two more here. Here's another two. So now we got two pieces of wool. Look at this, we got ourselves an iron golem now, that's pretty cool. Whoa, my sensitivity feels so weird after playing Power World the last couple of days. This game is actually so fun though. I'm thinking about doing 100 days on it, but I need to finish this first. And honestly, I don't know if anyone would even want to watch that. Let me know if you would, maybe. If not, it's totally fine, but... Anyways, we got ourselves a loom here. We unfortunately don't have a villager to take the job, but hopefully one of those babies will grow up soon. Now my goal with the loom is to get ourselves a wool trade at the apprentice level. Now if that fails, we're gonna have to take another coin flip chance on getting the bed trade at the journeyman level. And if those both fail, then whatever villager that is, is getting um, relieved of his duties, if you know what I mean. In the meantime, we might as well start chopping trees to make some sticks to start building up our emerald stack. Hey, yo, what the f- No! How did a creeper just seal team six me in broad daylight? Ah, oh, let's fix this up real quick. Okay, now we can finally start making these sticks. Hello, sir. I bring you sticks in exchange for shiny green rocks, please. Thank you. Okay, 16 emeralds is a pretty good start. Let's make some more sticks now. Are you the other Fletcher? No, but I can trade with you again, so I'll take it. Now we'll chop this big fella. Make a bunch more sticks. Oh, look at that. Now he's giving me an even better deal on the stick trade. I'll take it. Oh, okay. He finally has enough sticks. Let's go to the other guy now. You know what? Let me actually take these two stations out, because I think two Fletchers for now will be good. And I really want that loom job taken, so this will ensure that'll happen. Got another thick boy oak tree here. I could realistically dip into the wood I already have in my chest, but these trees are honestly growing so quick that I don't really need to. Unfortunately, not all the potatoes are grown yet, so I'm kind of just picking out the little sections that are to keep on breeding the villagers. I don't really feel like going through and trying to only break the fully grown ones, so we'll just do this one section. Would you look at that? Another massive tree. Oh look, our iron golem's holding onto a little rose. It's actually kind of adorable, but no, I will not go to prom with you, okay? You're just not my type. It's not you, it's me. Wow, I gotta say, it feels good being able to get inside a rejection this time. All right, we got a shepherd, but this is not the right trade. I'm gonna just go build an iron axe in case I have to break this loom a hundred times. Dude, Pal World has actually, like, just demolished my ability to efficiently craft things. It's, the sensitivity difference is, I don't know what's going on. Try number two. Excuse me, please go get the job. We're not 
No more unemployment for you, dude. Get, come on. Thank you. There we go. Now we can purchase an unholy amount of shears. Moment of truth. Well, the coin flip did not go our way since we got carpet over wool. Now we still have one more chance though, so it's not all lost. Okay, the next tier would be even better since it just gives us entire beds. So this isn't the end of the world. F*** out of my bed, you little sausage roll. I need you for some more sticks. Now we trade the sticks. Okay, so like I said, we lost the first coin flip, but I think we have another 50-50 chance on getting a bed trade here, so all hope isn't lost. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we got it. Time to buy a bunch of beds. More stick trading. I actually just made another Fletcher so we can trade some more sticks. This place is starting to look like a five-star hotel with all these nice beds. Well, you know, I'd honestly call this more like an old school military camp, so maybe not a hotel, but a five-star military camp? You can make the argument. We don't have bunk beds yet, though. That is, you know, I'll give you that. Don't have that yet. Well, I guess I can let you out of prison now. You too. I just found some cats out here swimming in the ocean, so I'm gonna try and tame them. Hey, you. Eat the clownfish. Come on, man. Nemo will taste delicious, I promise. Okay, we got the first one, but the second one, we only got three chances here. Hey, we got it. Look at that. Four fish got us two cats. It actually feels really lucky. I don't know the odds on that, but I'll take it. Okay, I just grabbed a boat to save these guys from a potential shark attack. Keep ready to get in the boat. Thank you, finally. I'm really not sure where the white cat went, nor do I know how to get this cat on the raft. So I think he'll just chill in the boat for now. I'm still looking for this other cat, but I'm honestly starting to get worried that it ended up being a shark's lunch or something. So rip the white cat, I guess. So I finally found out the reason this dark oak tree hasn't grown in forever. It's uh, missing a sapling. A little bit awkward. I think I said this earlier, but thank God for this tree feller mod. It literally saves so much time. Hey, yo, what did I do to you? Why do you hate me? 56 sticks for an emerald? What is that? I'm like 99% sure I never hit any of these guys, so I don't know why he's giving me terrible deals. I mean, if Minecraft had like an accurate economic system, I'd say this makes sense since the stick market, I'll admit, I've kind of flooded a little bit, but newsflash, right? This game doesn't have a dynamic economic system in place, so what's going on? Okay, yeah, at least this guy's still giving me a good deal. I must have, I don't know. That guy just hates me, I guess. Since we have some extra villagers, we might as well fill out the trading hall with some other important traders. All right, we made a bunch of goodies. Now let's place them all down. Well, the first weaponsmith trade is horrible. That's not ideal. Got straddle jump on the librarian. So looks like we're going to have to do some cycling here with the lector. You know, getting a bookshelf trade probably isn't the worst idea, but we'd preferably get a decent enchanted book with it as well but i don't know if we're gonna be able to pull that off i mean we could theoretically but i might just get impatient i'll be honest well it's time to keep on looking for a good trade normally i'd take mending but i take i'm breaking three as well at this point money 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 wait what the why are you overcharging me now but i didn't do anything do they just get like annoyed if i keep breaking their job site why is he upcharging me that's lame well, we finally got an unbreaking trade, but it's unbreaking one, and it's 23 emeralds for some reason. So it's going to cost a fortune to get even a single unbreaking three books. So I'm going to try and hopefully get a better trade than this. Okay, you know what? Unbreaking two is going to be good enough. All right, it's still expensive, but we can run unbreaking two. All right, it's right in the middle. Unbreaking one's pure poverty. This is like decent enough. This just pains me to do this trade a bunch of times, but at least I'll have plenty of axes to chop the trees down with. So I guess it isn't the worst thing ever. Er, wow, these second tier trades aren't attractive at all. Wow. Let me see how much this will move the bar trading for an axe. Oh boy. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to probably have to invest our iron to get past this tier, which kind of sucks because I really don't want to go mining again. Yeah, this is just unrealistic. We're gonna have to spend some iron, boys. All right, price on these isn't too bad. At least we actually get a discount, so I'll just pick up a bunch of pairs of Jordans here. Man, this has horrible trades, man. This weaponsmith, I don't know. Leveling this guy's gonna be pain. Cause I don't think we have that much coal. And this sword is really expensive. 
Well, overnight prices have seemed to go up, which is kind of bull but okay. Someone can tell me why this is happening. I'd love to hear it because I'm like, I'm actually really confused. That being said though, let's keep expanding our Jordan collection here. This time we get the chain mail Jordan, so that's nice. Oh wow, this is actually a really good trade. One emerald for chainmail helmets? That gave me a ton of XP, I'll take it. Oh, look at this. Now we're trading for some boosy clothing here. Got some diamond stuff. Hello. Here's our little junk chest from spamming trades here. I'm just throwing everything in here. Printing some money. And now we're getting some bougie Jordans. These are like, man, I can't even lie. I don't know. I'm not a shoe head at all. But these are just, imagine these are nice Jordans. I'm sure one of you knows some collab ones. Maybe, I think he did one with Travis Scott, right? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not going to look it up. I could be wrong. Sound like an idiot, but yeah. We're picking up shoes, boys. All right, let's see the enchants on the final tier. The chest isn't very good, but this helmet's actually a really good option. Well, I mean, at least in regards for a villager trade, I'll take it. Got some more stick trades. Okay, well, these iron trades give massive progress, so we're definitely gonna be doing this over the expensive bell. Only it was always this cheap to pick up some hoes, man. This would be nice. This is like taking them to the Dollar Tree for dinner. One emerald, that's a steal. Urgh. Unlucky, I was really hoping for unbreaking on the axe just because efficiency doesn't really matter, but whatever, let's just move on. I'll tell you what, making and trading sticks is starting to get pretty old, but I really want to get all these villagers upgraded. I mean, these trades are atrocious. Oh, and I'm not even getting that much progress for how expensive that is. Wow. Okay, where's that coal at? I'm going to have to do that trade because the sword trade is horrible. Oh my, the amount of progress you get from this is like five times as much. Dude, what are these trades? Oh man, it looks like I'm investing even more iron now. Wow, that sucks. Okay, that's done. Give me a good one. I get a flint trade is the next one. Oh my goodness. And none of them even give much XP. Whoa. Do we even have any more iron? Nope, it's not looking like it. I mean, I could smelt all the iron gear I traded for, but that just gives you like a couple nuggets each. It's not gonna do anything. This is actually so convenient. This is like the favorite thing I've done for this raft so far is building this. Now, the reason I came down here is so we can pick up enough obsidian for an enchanting table. Oh man, the obsidian looks so cool with the reflection of the lava. What the heck? Okay, we'll make the enchanting table. Excuse me, you need to wake up. I got some more sticks. Oh, wrong guy. You need to wake up. I got some more sticks. Thank you. It honestly pains me spending this much on bookshelves, but it's going to be the easiest way to get them. It's also kind of dumb. I complain about buying something that I'm actually going to use instead of all the useless iron swords, stone pickaxes, bells. I think I bought a bell earlier, didn't I? Like, anyways, let's go on to day 83. So I think I want to put this enchanting setup down in the floor, like a couple blocks lower than the current floor level so right now i'm just putting in like a fake setup to kind of visualize the spacing so it's going to be kind of like this stairs heading down on opposite sides now this realistically isn't all that necessary but one i think it'll look pretty cool and two well okay that's kind of it but i just i don't want to throw it like in the middle of some random room and just have it be ugly so that's the plan now we're down below here, putting in what will end up being the flooring of our little enchanting bowl. Oh, I really hope this turns out all right, because I really don't have much of a solidified plan. Yeah, I'm just imagining all the books, like, getting all soggy and wet. That's just, yeah. Looks like I didn't buy enough bookshelves. I'm stupid. Give me them bookshelves, please. All right, the rest of the bookshelves are now in, and we just got to start carving this thing out. Next step is to fix this little water issue we have here. Fill this in. And this, ow, 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 ow. Now this is when I wish I could make a water bucket that was infinitely empty. The stairs are especially annoying to unwater log, I'll be honest. Okay, this right here with the water in the middle just looks cursed, I don't know why. And lastly, we'll take out all the granite here and we're gonna have an actual working enchanting table. Gotten a little too dark down here, so I'm gonna throw some glowstone into the flooring. I could be going a little bit overboard, but I'm just gonna run with it. I will say the nice thing about trading 1.2 million sticks is the fact that uh, we're level 43 by doing basically nothing, so that's that's nice. Now, originally I got this armorer upgraded so I could trade for enchanted armor, but since I have all these levels, I might as well try and get some better armor. Hey, nice. The helmet has prot four and unbreaking three. That's a good start. I don't see any other good chance, so I'm going to pick up a bow to check that as well. Well, the bow was no good, so I'm just going to take a chance on this unbreaking three on these boots. 
Holy, we just hit the lotto of boots. Here we go. Gonna try these on breaking three pants and okay, prop three. Oh my, and we get prop four on the chest plate. Okay, power four and a bow. Okay, I gotta go buy a lotto ticket because these enchants are just way too good. Okay, last thing today, I'm just gonna buy some arrows for a nice new shiny bow. I just noticed these arrows of instant damage and I feel like I might as well pick these up. It's only one emerald for five, so it's pretty cheap and I've honestly never used tipped arrows, so I'm kind of excited to try these. Just going to keep stocking up on arrows so we don't have to worry about running out for the rest of the video. This is honestly overkill, but it's helping us get to level 32, so it's a win-win. A couple more helmets should get us the last little bit of XP here. And now we enchant the sharp four sword, which came with a nice bonus enchant. Let's go. I'll take looting three and sweeping edge. That's actually pretty awesome. Well, we need some iron for an anvil, so it's time to commit betrayal. This bow was already paying dividends. Okay, I was about to go mining, but we're really low on food. All right, just finished harvesting the potatoes, and it's actually quite a lot. So let's just replant one side, and I'm probably not even going to touch the other side. This... Farm was honestly a bit of overkill, I won't lie. Now we cook the potatoes, and now we go find some iron. Oh, that was pretty quick. I know I left a bunch of iron veins when I was strip mining, so I don't think this should take all that long. Got some more in this old abandoned mine shaft. Ow, hey, you know what? Let's see who's bow stronger, huh? Hey, you like that? How's that taste, buddy? And another one. Now we just smelt. Alrighty, we got all our iron, so now let's go ahead and make the anvil. Now we throw our unbreaking two on the sword, and let's name it the Hash Slinging Slasher. If you know, you know, and if you don't, I feel sorry for you, I'm not gonna lie. Now for the bow, I'm just gonna go with a classic, and oh, what, ow, what is going on? What, dude, what is your problem? Oh my goodness. You know what? This is a great time. I'm gonna introduce you to John Morant's favorite toy, okay? Here you go. Yeah. Oh my, you know what? I don't think I ever mentioned this. I was like, why does that sound so weird? I turned off friendly mob sounds because the villagers are just too loud. That's why that seems so weird to me shooting that guy for some reason. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, it clearly says no roof access for pedestrians. Hey, yo, how are you blocking my arrows? Wait, what? Okay, making a fresh shield right now because today is the day we go and try and take one of the illager ships over. Alright, here's the ocean monument thing, so I think it's just to the left. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, there's our target, people. Here we go. Well, just to the right of the ship, I found another one of these structures, and it looks like this one actually generated correctly, like, underwater. Um, but honestly, nothing I really need. There's a barrel right here. Yeah, okay, we got a wolf spawn egg. That's kind of cool. Kind of random, but I'll take it. Well, no reason to beat around the bush here. Let's just dive into this thing. Alrighty, here we go, people. Get two down. I'm starting to see a lot more spawn here. Oh, they're really spawning now. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're doing good, but I'm getting a little nervous. I just see a lot in the background. You know what? I got, let's try the sword out. Okay. Is there a spawner in here? Where are they spawning from? No? Okay, ow, I get shot in the butt there. That's not nice. You know what? Get over here. That's, yeah. How's that sword face? You smack the bell, too. Oh, oh no. I don't know what just did that, but there's a lot down there. That's a little scary. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna clear off this section of the ship now before we go downstairs. Okay, got some random TNT up here. I don't know how safe that is, but. Alright, I get this for cannons. Oh, emerald. Thank you. Check this out. Anything down here? No? Doesn't look like it. Let me light this up real quick. Okay. It's in the chest. Nothing good. Except for an emerald, I guess. Alright, you know what? I'm hopping down. Oh, like the spawner. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'd like to come up, please. Please. Okay. Let me just shoot them from my little pothole here. Oh, they're still actually kind of shooting me through this, surprisingly. Just slowly, just mowing them down here. Excuse me. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna hop down. Yep, get out of my way. And just try and light the spawner. I'm assuming there's another one back here. Yep, okay. Ooh, I like the emeralds on the ground. It's nice. Okay, this floor looks relatively clear. I think mobs are still spawning by the looks of it, but 
The illagers are taken care of. Break the spawner. Run over here and break the other one. Oh, creeper. No, 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 no. Okay. There's our entrance for the next floor, I guess. Alright, this should be lit up enough, just about. Let me throw a couple more down just to be safe. And now let's move on. It's looking... Yeah, I'm gonna use a sword this time. Come on. There's a little pot out oh, okay, again. Zombie down there, just in the midst of things. Ow. Keep shooting me. It's kind of weird. Let me hop down here. What's back here? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Oh, now we're in it. I think our armor is good enough. Like, I'm not tripping too much about this. So, being on fire is not fun, though. Let me fix that. Uh oh. Okay. Looks like we're almost cleared out completely. Ow, jeez. What is going on? Okay, ow. Just want to light this ow. What is this skeleton doing, bro? Chill out. Holy. Wait, what? How did the creeper block my arrow? What is that? Oh, sorry, bat. You were not my target there, buddy. Oh, is that a gapple? Oh, nice. Is that the ship? Do we have it cleared? Little spider here just chilling. I'm gonna get rid of you, buddy. I don't like you. Like, is there gonna be something hidden behind the hay, or am I thinking too deep? Uh, oh, no, I did find something. Look at that. One emerald, one diamond. It's not all that helpful, but it's cool. At least I can throw away all this junk I picked up. Is there another one back here, maybe? I'm thinking not. Alright, let's move on from that. Nothing in these little... What are these little cells? What are these? No. I think this ship is cleared. I think we actually did it. With uh, relative ease. Well, people. We have our own ship. We're nice. Okay, we cleared out the ship, but we're still having some mob problems here. American Sniper here. Dango down. I'm nice, what can I say? Uh, you know, honestly, I want to make my way up to the top of one of these, see if there's any, like, I don't know, anything interesting up there? Okay, nothing interesting outside of a spawner for phantoms, which are probably the worst mob in all of Minecraft. You know what, though? This is a pretty cool view. I wish my render distance was longer, because it looks a little goofy just being cut off, but it's still pretty cool. Well, I'm glad we took out the ship, but it's kind of far away to say I really own it, so I think I'm just going to build my own next to the raft. And we're home. Ooh, I'm going to spawn the dog and tame him real quick. Boom. Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to name you Gus. Why Gus? It's one of my dog's names in real life, man. He's a big fella. Here, I'll throw up a little picture. And uh, I don't really have a plan for the rest of it today. I got to plan out the boat, so let's just enjoy the sunset with Gus here. Real quick, too, if you've made it this far and would be so kind to like and subscribe, that would be amazing. I know it's a crazy long video, so I really appreciate you sticking around. Um, just making this quick because I don't want to waste your time because I know some people don't like these. But yeah, that's it. So let's go on to day 89, I think. Okay, today's the day we start building our own boat. But before we do that, I'm going to reload on some emeralds. Probably wondering why I'm still getting emeralds at this point, and I'll be honest, that's a fair question. And there's a pretty simple answer. I want this enchanted axe. I could try and get efficiency 4 from enchanting, but efficiency 2 will be enough for this build. So yeah, I figured I'd just take the guarantee and uh, move on. Step 1 is going to be building out away from our platform so our boat isn't like directly on the raft. I didn't go out too, too far, but just enough so we have a little bit of breathing room. Now I did build this on a separate test world before building it on here so I can actually get this build done without a bunch of headaches. Which, I gotta say I'm proud of myself. I've been doing that for most of this video, which is not normal. But that's also because building over the ocean and having to change stuff is a pain because you just lose all your blocks in the water okay so right now i'm working on the very bottom level of the ship as you can see it's not absurdly large but it's also not too small so i mean here's the deal right if you have a girlfriend she's not gonna brag about it but it's not gonna disappoint her either you know you're right you just barely made the cusp and that's okay and you know what even if it was smaller it's the perfect time to remember it's the motion of the ocean not the size of the ship right at least that's what I'm hoping for for my sake, I don't know. I'm just coping right now, I ain't gonna lie. Now that the basic shape is down, we just need to give it an outline to give the hole some shape. At least I think it's called the hole. That's H-U-L-L -L, by the way. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not a ship expert, but I'm sure one of you will correct me down in the comments when I mess up. And you know what? I appreciate it, right? Because you teach me something and I get engagement. 
first phase level is done now, so it's time to repeat the process for the second one. Now that that's done, we just take our placeholder blocks and boom, the ship is done. All right, I'm just kidding. We're just getting started, but we got the basic shape of the bottom portion. Now the curved portion at the bottom is done, so we're going to raise our outside layer by two blocks. I'll actually be trimming part of this back down, but for simplicity's sake, we're going to start by doing this. And as you can see, we have a really basic ship shape here, so... I you know, it's always a good sign when you're building stuff and it at least somewhat resembles it. Okay, so now I'm going to replace these bottom blocks with stairs. And, you know, some people may be wondering, you know, why not just do that right at the start? And, well, A, placing stairs like this. I mean, I had to place something above it in the first place. But B, I also kind of treat building like, I don't know, I guess like clay is the best way I can describe it. Like you first get your general shape and then once you're happy with that you go in and add the details depth and like take some of the clay away and i'm not trying to get too philosophical about this but like i feel like that's just a really easy way to build so that's how i like to build okay beautiful all the stairs are in now we just need to fill in the little air pockets in each of the corners last time i checked you really don't want your boats with holes right next to where the you know boat meets the ocean oh wow look at the pretty rainbow okay speaking of rainbows right I recently, I was driving home from college, right? I got a little bit of a commute and I'm driving home and on the highway, I saw seven rainbows in a 40 minute drive. I saw seven rainbows. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. It's two double rainbows too. All right, so like I said earlier, I'm gonna trim this top layer a little bit, just down one block and you'll see why soon. Now we're gonna fill in the trimmed area with some jungle stairs and then make a little race thing, which I'll show you in a minute here. All right, so now you can see the little raised stair things I made. Just give it some more, you know, character, I guess. And we're adding some trap doors. Kind of forgot what number step we're on at this point, but once again, we're building up another layer. And now we're outlining the new layer on the outside with some jungle slabs. Okay, next up, I need to get the stairs flat like this on each of the four spots, which is kind of inconvenient thanks to having to put temporary slabs for each spot, but definitely worth it. I'm actually adding some more than I originally planned. Uh, these are going to be used to hang lanterns on the side of the ship. I figure realistically you want your ship visible at night so other ships don't, you know, steer into you in accident. And more importantly though, I just want to be able to see the ship at night in my world. So that's the real reason, I'll be honest. Okay, here's a little progress check on the ship here. It's looking pretty good. Once we get those lanterns down too, the outside will look a little more interesting. Then we're going to add some cannons later. It's going to be nice. Right now, I'm making some fence gates for the top side of the boat. I'm going to place them right here, just like this. Nothing too crazy, just makes it a little more fun. Next up is throwing in the flooring for the top of the ship, or I guess the deck, you know, since I've kind of shown myself to be a ship expert. I know I claimed I wasn't, but man, the more I talk, I'm just like, I'm just so impressed, man. As you can see, though, I'm using this really smooth looking oak planks from the chisel mod, and this looks so clean. Okay, so we got the flooring in, so now I'm putting in fe bleh, fence posts, excuse me, for um, what will eventually be like two big overhangs on the top of the ship. The ship doesn't have a sail in this design. It's purely designed to go with the flow of the ocean, which sounds ridiculous, and it kind of, you know, it's definitely impractical, I'll give you that. But it's just, we'll call it the chill boat, you know, it's just chill, you just go with the ocean, don't really know where you're going, which could probably be maybe dangerous in some situations but uh you know pro tip with this boat is don't get caught in a storm right i'm really not sure what that rainbow is there since it hasn't rained at all but we'll just call it like nature's miracle i guess because that oh i guess you know what okay hold on let's see where it rains here right rain when it rains it doesn't rain everywhere on the planet so i guess it's possible i'm dumb Today's goal though is to get the overhangs in place. It probably won't be a ton of commentary because it's literally just me placing a bunch of slabs. Okay, now I'm just filling in the inside of the overhang with spruce slabs. Now, as you can see, I'm again making sure that the spruce filling isn't too flat by giving the interior of it some like design in itself. So now we just got our replicate it on the other side and we'll be done with this part. And just like that, we got the overhang in. Here we go. Alrighty, time to throw in the hanging lanterns finally. Okay, now at this point I am freehanding the rest of this build, so let's see what we can cook. I know I want to add some cannons, but I'll try doing some weird stuff with some stairs here. Yeah, that ain't it, Chief. Let's uh <laughs> let's take that out. That's bad. Let's start punching out the holes for the cannons. 
You know what, for now, I might just make these little porthole windows and then put the cannons on the deck is kind of what I'm thinking. Cause I think little portholes could be kind of cool. So we'll start with that and then worst case scenario, I mean, we already have the hole punched out so we can just turn the windows into a cannon essentially. Okay, now we break all the placeholder netherrack. Next up, I'm gonna do the thing that everyone does by putting some unlit campfires above the trap doors. There we go, can I punch it dead? Nope, okay. Let me get the bucket. Oh. Oh, what the? There we go, okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that over each trap door because that's what everyone and their grandma does, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna add some ladders to the outside. Oh, okay. Can't put it on the stair, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna have to replace this with a block. Okay, now hopefully, can I jump up and grab this? Dude, it looks like, oh, please, you're lying. I can't, oh man, okay, you know, that's fine. But, but you know, we need this to be accessible, so we're gonna have to pull it down the third block. Uh, so I made a lever torch, just looking at stuff to build, and it's kind of sick. Might be able to use this somewhere in the build, maybe for like the steering wheel or something. Uh, okay, so the steering wheel is interactive now with that, but it looks not good, so we'll probably just use the standard lever. Okay, well, I guess yeah, duh, the lever's, I'm so stupid. The lever still makes it interactive. It wasn't the torch specifically. I'm a genius. Okay, then we make our little chair here with the signs. It's Minecraft classic. And look at us. Got ourselves a little steering wheel that's honestly bigger than our body, but. All right, people, it's time to make some cannons. Let's try a little raised one here. Yeah, no, I do not like the look of that. I'm not rocking with that one. So let's figure out something else. You know what? Okay, so I punched a hole right here, not in one of the port windows, but just right in the side of the ship. And what if we just put a can in there? But maybe one shoulder? Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna stick with that. So then we'll replicate it on this side. Perfect. And then we do it on the other side now. And then inside, I don't really know what to do for the design, so we'll just throw a button and a stair on it and uh, call it good. Alrighty, I just put some up front, and now... Do I like it with the vertical slab on it is the question, or do I just leave it naked on the side? I guess now this looks kind of weird, but I'll just pull that back. Okay, it's kind of different, but I like it. Now that the ship is basically done, today I'm going to go ahead and fix our lighting issue throughout the raft because at night about 65% of this thing is dark enough to spawn mobs. I just sleep fast enough. So first area though is going to be the starting circle. Now I'm doing our tree cutting island. I'm going to start by lighting up the fountain a little bit. This will look kind of cool actually. Okay, I'm back at the farm now and I'm testing out using glowstone at the top of the fountains and no, 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 that looks not good. We're not going to run with that. Oh, what if I put them in here though? Okay, I actually, I can get behind that. They're like little light pods, I like it. Granted, that doesn't cover a whole lot of the farm, so I'll probably go through and just like put them intermittently through the crops. Okay, what I'm doing is really insignificant, but it's just gonna be the cherry on top, I promise. It's literally just glass trap doors on top of the glowstone here. It's, I'm never even gonna notice it. I don't even think I'll have to farm for the rest of the video, but I just felt like it was a necessity. The last thing today is going to be putting glowstone under each of the corners for the tree farm. And then of course, replacing the leaf blocks after. Well, people, I'll be honest. I don't really know what else to do in the video. So I think it's time we take Gus out on the ocean and see if we can find anything else of interest. Now, before we do that though, let's do a quick cinematic tour of the raft we've built over these hundred days. Cause it's probably going to be the last time we're here. All right, now that we've enjoyed that cinematic together, it was a beautiful experience. Let's go explore the ocean. Honestly too, I'm just gonna show you if there's anything new, like we don't need to, you know, illager ships, they're just not too exciting anymore, so yeah. 
I'll let you know. Got a villager shipwreck here, which isn't new, but there's a random sand structure. Ooh, and there's a chest. What's in the chest? Oh, hot garbage. Okay. That's fun, though. I'll take the fishing rod for fun. Oops. I, uh, it slipped. Uh, twice? Man, there are a ton of these. I know I said I wouldn't show this, but there's a ton. Oh, two golden apples. That makes it interesting. Wait, what the? Wait, we found an island. There's two. Okay, that's actually really cool. We found two little islands, which is... Why that's cool is kind of ridiculous, because, like, it, it's just an island, but, like, we haven't seen these all 100 days. That's... Wow, okay. That was a nice surprise. All right, second to last day here. Let's get back to exploring, see if we can get anything else. Oh, we got another villager shipwreck here, but this one actually looks way cooler. Got, like, the sail in the water. Now, that being said, you still aren't being spared. I'm sorry. We also got this random little structure below the shipwreck, but there isn't much here. What the? There's another island, and this one even has sugar cane. Where was this earlier? Okay, before the last two days, I genuinely didn't think land would even, like, generate on this world. So, ooh, the shipwreck has some TNT. I'll take it. People, I've come up with an idea. Now we employ the fire enchanted bow, and we just watch a little show here. Ah, I mean, <laughs> wasn't the coolest thing. We only had a couple TNT, but honestly, if we had TNT earlier, that would have been a good way to clear a ship easily. Hey, wait, what? Wait, it's like a mini ship. We haven't seen that. Maybe it's friendly. Um, well, so bad news. I see illagers, so that is not indeed friendly. Well, it's time to start sniping. I did leave Gus behind just to make sure he stayed safe. Whoa, wait, why are they jumping off? What? What are you doing? Why would you leave the high ground? You've never seen Revenge of the Sith? Dude, you need to learn the importance of the high ground. Do not give up the high ground. Dude. Dude, these things' hitboxes are being dumb. I'm hitting him in the face. Thank you. Oh, look. It's one of the wizard dudes. I don't... <laughs> I don't know his name. I'm not gonna lie. My Minecraft knowledge is horrible for how much I play. I say that when I haven't posted in a few months, but I don't want to talk about it, okay? I'm... I'm gonna be better for the hundredth time, but I mean it this time, I'm serious. Let's see what's in the captain quarters here. All right, some decent stuff here. What's down here? Oh, oh, peekaboo. Um, ooh. Oh, buddy, you're not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this, pal. I'll take this iron block too. Look at how reflective it is. All right, we're just gonna walk up here. Yep, well, I see you, buddy, don't worry. I'm gonna give you a little Santa Claus present down the chimney right now. Let's line this up. All right, just shoot this and run. Okay, uh, see you later, man. Have a good one. Yeah. Look at that, and we break the chest, easy looting. I mean, I'm just, that's peak efficiency. You know, I don't wanna get charged with the crime here of, you know, pillaging the pillagers. So I'm just gonna, or illagers, whatever you wanna call them. I don't know, again, I'm dumb. But let's just uh, remove the evidence. Is what I'll call it. We'll remove the evidence. Oh, ow. Oh, wait, what? Oh, ow, okay. Well, I got lucky one time, but now I'm actually on fire. And, yep. Just keep lighting this. Then I'll get back and get you guys a good little view. I mean, I don't mean to sound like a psychopath or a pyromaniac, but this is kind of beautiful to watch. You know what? I gotta try burning one of the massive ships down. I didn't even think about that. That could have been so easy potentially. It's, I guess we'll find out soon. All right, time to start lighting this thing on fire. There are some non-flammable blocks though, so this might not be as effective, but we'll see. All right, flint and steel is broken. Um, ow, what is going on? Unfr it's gotta be a jellyfish, yeah? Let's turn the HUD off and just watch this. I'll speed it up for you guys so it's, you know, a little more exciting. Well, it looks like most of the fire is done burning, and I gotta say, it actually went pretty good. An explosion just went off, so I don't I don't know what that was, but overall, pretty good. There was a lot of blackstone, like I said earlier, so the build, you know, stayed up a little bit. But the interior is f***. But, you know what? I think that's it. 
It's gonna do it. A hundred days stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean. If you've made it this far, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time. I know it's been three months since I last posted, but thank you, seriously, I appreciate it. Cause this is a long one. Now, of course I gotta do my spiel. If you would be so kind to like, comment and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated because it really does make a difference. Everyone says it, but it is true. It does help it perform better. But most importantly, stay safe out there and just enjoy life people, right? Go hug, spend time with your family and friends because life can get messy and stressful. And you know, my family has been going through some health stuff and it's just, it's just been stressful. Everything's good and stuff, but needless to say, just, you know, go spend some time. Or just give a phone call. I mean, anything, you know? But anyways, that's it. That's my spiel. Have a good one.